Hello and welcome back to Winter's Tales. My name is AJ Winters and tonight we present to you The Chronicles of Aelwyn. Yeah baby, it's a full house, there are eight players around this table and I'm not scared. <laughs> Tonight's episode is sponsored by our dice makers, the Ravens Ridge Emporium, our character profile artist, the Holly Fox, and the epic TTRPG battle map making software makers, the Dungeon So, it's time for everyone's favourite part of the night, the ad read. And tonight, I have written lyrics. To a sea shanty, or an adventurous shanty, that the players will improvise. Oh, God. Well, right here the, and right now. Those two things don't. No, um, no that's why I was it. <laughs> but I will give you a few moments because I'm not overly cruel. There's three for each side. Oh. 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 It's, it's fine. Improvise. It's fine. It's yeah. Oh, okay. We don't have to. Oh, don't okay. have to you lyrics. have written lyrics. I have written okay. lyrics to the scene. So that we make up the melody. You make, make up, up the, the, the everything else. The, yeah. Yeah. Um, would you like to coordinate, or would you just like to go for it? Because I think we would like to just go for it. it. You yeah. do Wait, you. Oh, oh, oh. we're not having everyone sing it at the same time. Are we doing it at three or four? It's a sea shanty. This is like a dinghy's worth of people. Six, eight? People. This is a dinghy's worth of people. Oh, you could, you could, you could allocate some beat makers or whatever you wanted to do. I want to leave it up to you. script is thank you all so much I never thought we'd pull that off well that true. what's your life read the line I predicted it oh my god anyway thank you so much for that that it was beautiful uh, time for some introductions now there is a lot of people at this table tonight so let's keep this short and sharp who are you who are you playing hello my name is Tate Bennett uh, pronouns are he him I play the big, blue, and beautiful, the haunted toy boy, spooky, spooky, warlock of the party, that's the one, Everard. Nice Hi, Nikolai Grafchenko. He, him, pronouns. I play the paladin of the party, Daddy Huxley. Who? Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Hello, I am Charles Louise. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Sarah Lee or. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Lucas. My pronouns are they, them. I play the ranger of the party, the flowery and fiery Cadence. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, <yeah. laughs> 
that's the sound we're going with. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea, I use she her pronouns, and I play the tiny itty bitty spoon stealing Roscoe. <laughs> Uh, hi, I am Dan in the meat space. <laughs> Do you have the Cyrus face? Uh, I use he and pronouns and I play Reckless Reyes. Yes, that was the first time I. Abba <laughs> That was amazing. Got it. <laughs> hey there, I'm Tristan McKinnis. Uh, I go by he and pronouns and tonight I am playing the saucy sosa, the bigger bug. Icky, Iggy. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Georgia McGibbon. My pronouns are she, her. I play the badass, bodacious barbarian of the party, Aneska. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And <laughs> also, so that was the most beautiful intro <laughs> from all of you. I am very impressed. And I oh, am AJ best. Winters, she, her pronouns, the DM for tonight. Now, tonight, we unfortunately lost all all three of our usual technicians due to a mass scheduling conflict. Which means, and this is very exciting for me to announce, that tonight we actually have Mama and Papa Winters on deck. Say hi, family. Hello. Well, hello there. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Good stuff. Yeah. Good. And now with that, I believe it is time for a little recap of last episode. Previously. <laughs> On the Chronicles of Aelin. The Unmarked Six decided to take a stress-free day and explore the Underdome and Finnegendry's fantastically fickle finds after the attacks of the Lower City the night before. They found a lot of things during their time at the exhibit, from cursed items to painfully haunting mirrors, to stalkers times two, mm. and to an ambush from Iggy's sister Valentine and her henchmen. <gasps> Aneska and Iggy were left a little disappointed in their love life circumstances, with the handsome Saskia who rocked up to meet with Aneska turning out to be the cunning Siana, who got Everard drunk at the first night of Prunos and may or may not be trying to murder them, and Gareth being used as a tool in Valentine's plans, whatever they may be, because we still don't understand, and even calling her Mistress? Orn? Huxley also lived out a few of his memories of his late wife, Natalia, causing him to swallow the grief, bury it deep down, hide it from his friends, and proceed to smash a mirror to pieces with the help of Reyes. Look, man. Your emotions, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, go to therapy. <laughs> oh, boy. Roscoe ran off, I was like, where am I? Roscoe ran off after growling deep within her towards Everard after he tried to take the box she is currently seems obsessed with. Obsessed. And Cadence has been staring at a fireplace for over an hour. Yeah, thanks for saving me, hose. <laughs> got this. But the most important takeaway from their time at the exhibit, fighting with Valentine as well as interrogating their stalkers, is that someone within the Blue Syndicate is watching them. Testing them, even. And with Siana finally answering their questions of who hired her, the group learned that yes, a private client has hired her to kill them, but that she'd also been hired by the very same Blue Syndicate to protect them. It seems this individual watching them may have a plan in place for the Unmarked Six. So with that scary new fact in place, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, for the record, I surveil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roll that intro. You have all gathered 
into the lounge room once more. The destruction of the mirror, as well as the coffee table, and several still crying teacups, altering the once homely vibe of this space into something more sinister. What's worse is that Cadence still stands, unmoving and unresponsive, by the far wall, staring into the lit fireplace, the note above it the only hint of what Cadence might be going through right now. The fireplace of lost hope. Cadence. Uh, oh, for you, however. I don't actually want this. No, go. Your mind is playing through your darkest day. As you stand in a clearing of luminescent trees, surrounded by gruesome-looking death knots and twisted, purple-hued lovers' embrace, you notch another arrow. You went too far beyond the perimeter, you think to yourself. This is my fault. You look beside you to Lyell, who is taking a defensive stance against three against the three-foot-long insectoid monsters that with one plunge of the proboscis would drain you and her of sap immediately. The flames around you, the only saving grace. The flames around her, your only saving grace. She looks elegant, illuminated by her gifts, a true warrior, the eternal flame. I'm so lucky, you think to yourself, but in that fraction of a distraction, distracted thought one of them strikes out at you only enough to graze the skin but you scream out in surprise and that's when it happens Lyell in between sending a flame off to ward off the monsters turns to you the love in her eyes the true worry there for you replaced quickly by pain time stretches out mercilessly as you see her arch her back the death knot impaling her through the chest her eyes welling with tears as you begin to cry out. And in her last effort to save you, the fire exploded out from within her. The sheer power and heat from it burning the monsters around you. Time speeds up, or time between is blurred, but the lover's embrace is wilted and the death knots burnt to a crisp, but none of it matters. Lyell is bleeding out in your arms, her eyes dulling before you. And you cry out to any gods or spirits that may hear you, begging the land to accept her again. She is special. She is the eternal flame. They chose her. But then the night falls, and you are still alone. You cannot go back. You will be exiled if they knew, you think to yourself. But she deserves a proper burial. So you find a clearing with the brightest green moss and begin to prepare the ritual. As you bury her, you weep. You say the rites of passage. You draw a small amount of sap and mark the grave. And as you lie there, over the small grave that she will now remain, you feel the moss moving and growing over it. The land accepts her, but this is not how you thought it would go. This is not the future she was destined for. And so anger builds within you as your last tear falls. Your heartbeat pulses as your chest shakes and you stand. This is not your anger. And in a flash, the flames return. And this time to you, you are engulfed as the eternal flame chooses a new host and you scream out. No, no, no. For the rest of you, Cadence remains unmoving. As you try to break their eye contact to the flames or move their body, you find them rooted into the floor, literally, through their shoes. And unblinking in their state, emotionless, looking forward. The crackling of the fire now mixed with the magical piano that you know only starts to play when people around are confused. Oh. I kick the piano. It kicks back. <laughs> Healing last. <laughs> what happens to me? <laughs> Roll an arcana check. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, that 12. 
You don't heal. But you didn't take all of damage. No, I suppose. <laughs> fine, thank you. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Are you still poisoned? Yes. <laughs> I would like a healing glass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, do you want a healing glass? I can do that. Oh, okay. yeah. But are you? Um, is it the poison that's the problem or the injury? I mean, I know that you were like very cool. You did the thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, how much po- poison damage, I guess, do I have, or did I take? Uh, you do not know. You can okay. still feel it within you, though. And right. as you calm down after your rage and seeing Cadence currently in this state, you can feel it sort of pulsing. In your veins slightly. Um, yeah, yeah. This doesn't. I, uh, I, I don't feel great. Should um, we put the fire out? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, just uh, poisoned back there. So, if anybody has anything that they think might um help, uh, I, I might be I fine. Help. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because um, where, where did you get poisoned? Um, my leg. Your leg. Yeah. All right. Well, just really got in there. Really just, yeah. All right. I'm do, you a, want to, do you want to just... Uh, just like prop I, it up, bring on, it up to, to, on the broken coffee table. <laughs> just yeah. put it on his shoulder. Am I that oh. tall? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. yes. Sure, I can... So he is six foot four. Yeah. So he is... I'm not t- as I'm not too tall. Yeah. Yeah. Flexible, Flexible. Yeah. 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 I'll just... I won't do that. Put your you know what? I thought about it. But, um... How it's, about not, it's not actually practical at all. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just pat your lap. Just, just prop just, it up here. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, so much better. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is not. Uh, Lay on hands. Yes. Great. Yep, yep. Yeah, just, uh, just, <laughs> Uh, What's happening? This um, um, a magical, yeah. magical lay on hands. Nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you. But uh, yeah. Oh, you've That's done this happening. before, haven't you? Don't say that. Can uh, we put that fire out? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's gone to fa- find like a, pe- a, a jug of water yeah. or something. Just okay. toss into the flat. Yep, the so you Thank head you. back into the kitchen. Yeah. You yeah. get yourself like a, some sort of pot, one of the pots. Yeah. Okay. Turns the tap on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> Like the snap of a spell, you wake up and you see all of your friends around you and some new faces as well. But the memory of Lyell is burning in the back of your mind. Do I set on fire? Do you want to? I kind of do. I don't. Okay. It's a nine. Uh, uh, Arcana? Yes. Arcana. It's a ten. You feel in this moment with the sadness that you were experiencing that you cannot tap into whatever the flame comes from. You're with us. Your eyes start moving around the room again. You right? Hux is going to go over and just hug Kate. Okay, it's going to break down. <laughs> it's just going to break down. It's it's alright, kiddo. The um, the pack didn't didn't it doesn't sound like it was a good time. I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her, Dad. I didn't kill her. I didn't do it. I didn't think he did. I was on the fence, so that's really good news. That's really good news. Well done. I'm so glad. Can I try and whistle to get Buttercup back? You can certainly try, animal handling. For for what? Like, you know, Buttercup would know. Ever ask whistle, maybe? Uh, I haven't got my animal handling. Okay. Unless I've got proficiency, it's going to be a... 16. Unless I've got proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. Where's the shot? <laughs> um, so, uh, 16. 16. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Where do you call out? Just 
just up, just seeing Kate. Like, you're like, in the exhibit, you're just, down. like, in the lounge room, you're just going to whistle? Yeah. Okay, cool. No way. And just call out for Buttercup. Mm-hmm. A few moments pass. And Buttercup does not seem to go out. We could open a window. <laughs> That's a good idea. Would you like me to? Should I? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, all right. I'm going to open the window. Okay. Um, and I'll do it again. I'm going to try it. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, in the exhibit that you broke into, yep. yeah. you're going to open a window and whistle out into yep. the public. <laughs> Okay, cool. In the middle I was of the literally going to yeah, throw cool, the cool, pot cool. through the window. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, go for it. Go for it. Roll do I pull out the window? Yeah, yeah, do yeah, yeah go for it. What are you, what are you holding? A pot? A pot headboard. Is, is. This, oh. is this comforting? Yeah, that's going to be a dirty 20. Oh, okay. You wait a few, few more moments. But a cop does not seem to come or respond. What the? A valiant effort. Uh, and everyone just go and join the hug party. Okay, not a problem. I just watched excitedly <laughs> on the vibe. <laughs> Roscoe has run off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where's Sienna Roscoe? Is currently, knows <laughs> of Roscoe's location. What the no? I lost uh, him. <laughs> Roscoe had a oh. box that um, mm-hmm. they were entranced with. They growled at me like a. <laughs> And then run away. Aww. Well, I better throw some water on her to. Wait, <laughs> who the fuck are you? Oh, hello. Uh, I am restraining order. Oh, wait, no, nope, that's not right either. <laughs> behind, behind him, Icky Mouse. You get He's safe. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's safe. Hello. Oh yeah, that was the one that tried to kill me. The, Good book. The book, yeah. Good book. Yeah. Where's Roscoe? Yeah, well, let's look. Let's uh, have a let's have a little look. Your right? dagger is currently still lit up, um, tracking where Roscoe is. Roscoe is down in the basement. Uh, should what? should we go or should we some should, of us go? We should go. Is it like a bouncy basement of awesome? We don't know. Yes, How many basements have you been in? Well, this place is like topsy turvy weird, so. God, you're, you're mm. so smart, mm. mate. I, I don't give you the credit that you do. <laughs> that does make a lot of sense. Every basement I've been in has been awful. <laughs> it has! You're not here to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that dagger points to where Roscoe is. Lead the way. I'm tracking. Please, yeah, yeah. please track. 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 I would like to walk. What was what's wrong with the pot though? Oh, you know how everything's magical here. What's the pot do? do? You have, this is oh yeah, I'll read the tag on the pot that um, Huxley's <laughs> now holding. Uh, there, there's no need for. Uh, what's the pot? Is it say? a magic pot? What's the pot say? Uh, the pot says the ever-growing pot. Is it bigger? Than what? Than last time? Grow. Not new on it this time. <laughs> I what need. I need you to be big enough for. Pasta for 12 people. No, you don't. <laughs> Who are we feeding? <laughs> We've got a cookout. That we're going to? Yeah. Is it a BYO? <laughs> well, uh, You're going to be pasta to a cookout? It would be impolite to I bring put, nothing. I put the water say, that was in the talk. pot on the fire to snap Kate out of the thing. That's where the pot came from. Yeah, but from. he does raise a good point about the cookout. We should you know, probably. We, good. Can't, we can't bring nothing. We should prioritize finding Roscoe, but we should yes. bring some. All right, so well, then bring the pot with you, Dad. Yes. While they're having a pot fight, can I just do a cheeky recall to um, think about uh, the internal flame? Mm-hmm. Fifteen. You close your eyes. Do you think about your hand? Do you feel your heart beating? We don't want that song. So you think about the eternal flame and a memory comes to you of a very young Lael in an award ceremony or a, a gifting ceremony of some kind in a tribe. She walks to a small podium 
Uh, and there are a few ethidic symbols on large vessels. And she is adorned with a orange sash and uh, voiced and presented to the tribe as the Eternal Flame, the protector of these lands. Okay. I'm going to try to sell fire again. Okay. No, no, I don't. <laughs> the rest of you are no. looking for Roscoe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's we where we're heading? Yeah. Right. Okay. Not a problem. So, as you start making your way, <laughs> making your way through the <laughs> exhibit uh, in search of Roscoe, you duck and weave past the dining room fiasco, and you head towards or in the direction of the armory. As you get closer to the armory, you find that the door is already wide open, and within it, in a small trap door that was in the corner, uh, the the lid is open from that as well, and you see very faint uh, pink hair from Roscoe in sort of a small cube in the corner, just hiding in a hole. Uh, and I just like really right now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> who, who wants to? Who wants to go? Oh, okay, it jumps down into the into the hole. Yeah, yeah not a problem. You you get up to your waist. It's not very deep, but Roscoe is sort of hunched over in the corner, playing with the puzzle box. You crouch down there, sir. Okay. Just crawl in. I, I tried to get the box off the last time, and she growled at me and ran away. So okay, just well, be careful. I'm not gonna get the box off her. Um, can you get me my sword, thing, my dagger, while you're down there? Also, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think I will, thank you. Hey! Is an addition. Hey! Hey! What's, my, what's my vibe right now? <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe! <Roscoe's vibe. laughs> Chill! Chill! Chill. Oh. So, Roscoe. Oh, good. Your mind right. is locked onto the box within your hands and you hear the heartbeat that was in there before replaced with the voices of those who have held this box before their minds touching Ah. yours pulling on the corners and edges of your memories finding a weakness and you looking back but then seeing how to help or how to hinder each person and a comforting sense comes to you from the sea monster. Okay. You feel as you breathe, they breathe. Am I getting that sense from the box, or just around? No, as if the breath within you is helping you solve the puzzle. Cool. Would you like to roll me? Box a... check. No, box check. Oh, box check. <laughs> um, a wisdom saving throw to save you. Yes. yes. Not good. That's eldritch horror. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer, dude. Bummer. The voices are intriguing. They've lived lives. They've told each other stories. They are friends. You could do with some friends. Oh, you don't say. What are they saying? The What's ones that you can saying? make out uh, is teaching you a recipe. What's it for? It's for a honkling dish. <laughs> What's that? A honkling is a small little bird uh, oh. that resides. Small little bird. That's what I said. Small little bird. <laughs> like, a, uh, like a like a baby bird or like no, just like a, a little one. like a, a really one. tiny a quail. 
I mean, the quails exist. Like a really tiny goose. Like a little goose. Like a little goose. Because geese exist here. Because honklings. Honklings exist. Okay, honkling, a recipe for honkling. Yes. So I'm just. You're just listening to the recipe. Uh huh. It goes really, really nicely with glazed sap. There's a lot of steps to it, but you are entranced. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love. Sounds really good. This is what you're seeing. I would like to backhand her across the face. Go for it. All right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Let's get this fucking started. Yeah. Okay. I don't backhand her across the face. I don't punch. Is that a six or <laughs> nine? Thank you. Six or nine. Nice. What's my um, so that would be your unarmed strike? Um, strike what do I do about the beak? Oh, you add that in. Do you, do you add the beak in for uh, flavor, like a stock? Your unarmed strike is plus four. <laughs> Absolutely not. You, no. Well, why? Why not? Isn't that not not a waste of bird? Well, if you see it that way, I'm sure you could. It's a yeah. ten for a backhand. You miss. <laughs> Roscoe ducks, still maintaining the conversation with this woman about beaks and flavors. Do I not like um, acknowledge Cade though? Not at all. Okay, yeah. So I just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I decide to um, add beak to my version of the recipe, I'll make sure to credit you still. That's very kind. Yeah. Um, well, what was your name again? Me. Yeah. Ellen. Ellen. Hey, Kay, do you need a hand down No, there? I'm going to try again with the other hand. <laughs> my, my vibe, am I am I wanting to know how they got in the box or am I sort of entranced to the point where I don't care about that? You don't really care about how they got in the box. Okay. It's more so that you want to be friends with every single one of them. I want to be friends with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's real nice. That's real nice, Ellen. So Wes. my version Wes. is I will keep the bacon, yeah. Maybe even like the little feet. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call it beacon. Ooh. I've decided I've made up something completely new. Canon <laughs> <Yeah. Down laughs> <and> now. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? Eleven? I'll uh, probably miss again. I this time I will get you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Dex. Okay. No. Oh. 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 Dex will be good. Uh, Dex is like oh. plus twenty thousand. <laughs> So that's a nine, actually. So you get slapped huh. across the face. <laughs> Cadence, that is three damage to you, okay. Roscoe. Which hurts, by the way. Three damage to the face. It's a lot. Uh, but you're able to snap out of the box entrancement as you drop it, actually. Oh! Okay, yeah, look. Jesus! Yeah, that's my bad. You were just a little, a little buck wild. Yeah, hi. 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 You're hi. I, I, I lost you before. Yeah, we you lost okay? you. I'm fine. Are you okay? No. Ow. Okay. Well, you're in a hole, dude. Look around. Oh shit. You growled at Everard. Did- apparently. You did. Yeah. <laughs> Hey! Yeah, bye. I'm just gonna stand up. I'm sorry about that. Just like, no, it's fine. I, back up. Honestly, it's like made me want to try and explore my own voice a bit more. So. What, what, what did I sound like? Creepy. Oh. <coughs> oh. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That was... I was a bit more like it, actually. I'm still trying to get it. Okay. I'll yeah. take your word for it. Because I try to also growl. Do I roll? Go for it. <laughs> roll for growl? Roll for growl? Roll for growl? Ten? Performance? You can add your performance. I'll allow. I'm not sure if I want it to be good. Wait, huh? Oh, I don't know my performance. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Roscoe. Your performance is plus two. Ah. Okay, so 12. Ah. It's not connecting with whatever ever I've experienced before. (laughs) Oh. Are you, is that, I don't think, mm, that was clearly precious. I was, oh, that, that, you that, should that, keep that. trying, you know, practice makes perfect, that's what they say. That's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how you became so good at yeah. kicking. So. Absolutely, yeah. um, and hey, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to rush you along, uh-huh. um, 
but I'm I'm pretty uh, freaked out of this place, and yeah. I would like to go to the cookout. Um, so, and I, I don't I don't like the 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 vibes that that is being given off here. Like I think um, you are this place so strong. Is Oh, Mimi! Shirley! Oh, Mimi's here. Oh. Mimi! Mimi's Who's what? Who's Mimi? Mimi is a torture rack. Torture rack that that um, really trusted she Oh, was. speaking yeah. of Why? bad vibes, uh, yeah. this is Mimi. Mimi, how you doing? I've been better. So what sorry. happened, Mimi? I feel useless. Hmm. You can oh, use well. you if you want. No. Well, no. What a shame. Yeah, I'll anyway, think of a pawn candidate. Uh, do I no, she'll scene, enjoy it um, too much. When it was slapped out of, we read like, the book. What the book is? The book doesn't have a label. It was one of the items from the mirror. Oh. Without anyone seeing, I would still like to take it with me. I'd like to stealthily take it. Slide a hand check. Picking, the, picking it back up. Yeah, yeah I want to know what it is. We just got it off you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 do you want to get slapped? Kate will slap you again. <laughs> okay, so Cadence is left-handed. That's <laughs> what you've determined. You've got sixteen. Yeah. I'm gonna say you get it back into your into your bag, into your belongings. Nice. Do you like that? Sixteen. Yeah. A scoop. Yes. Yeah. Scoop. No one knows that you scoop. still have it, <laughs> but you crawl out of the hole. Yeah. Mimi, I would like some encouragement. You're doing great. Don't, don't listen to Mimi. That was a good slap before. I, I guess, I mean, it got me out of whatever traps I was in. Sometimes violence is the answer. Oh, we should oh, get out of the room. Oh, that, I agree. Yeah, yeah. 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 preach. Who, I does, who made this? Uh, kink person. Yeah. <laughs> What's a kink? A kink map. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy actually withdraws. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we have the time. Actually. Oh my god, no, it's a missionary a man. Conversation. <laughs> yeah. We will have that conversation though, because that, yeah, that would be interesting. You, you, you know, you know when you have a metal shield and then a bit of ammunition hits it, and there's a little dent <laughs> in the shield. That's a kick. Oh, a dent? yeah. That's just a. Oh, I'm sure you'll find out later. Mm. Do you guys know <laughs> why I set on fire? I'd love to know why. And you. <laughs> Are you asking us, or are you, is this a lead-in? Oh, oh, I know. Passion. Okay, cool. No, my... Roll. Roll a history check. Do, do, do. Oh, very pretty that's guys. pretty good. Thank you. 18. Hmm. You've heard of a few different people in history that mm-hmm. were able to set on fire, um, but not since the Flame Warriors. Oh. Which is how long ago? Mm. It would have been prior to the fall of Elzebar. Oh. So before the War of the Gods. Look at that. They were beings that had relationships or partnerships with elemental beings. Flame spirits. Anger. Passion. <laughs> My fiance was the eternal flame, and when she died, the eternal flame chose me. Is that like a superhero? Oh. It's the protector of the land, but now I don't Sweet. know what I'm supposed to be protecting. Can I? Is it mm. Nice, though. I mean. Is it a particular thing or place? Or... Yeah, I recall it. I can't recall it. It's a seven. Whatever you know is that you ran. You know that you would have been exiled had you gone back and explained Lyle's death mm. or why you have the flame, and you never returned. Sorry, um, how old are you? Oh, wow, that must have been rude. Um, Regis. Look. Um, Where's my friend? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to also help. I know sort of... Um, People that have set on fire in the past, like historically, <laughs> before the fall of Elzebar, the flame warriors and stuff. Nice. Flame warriors? That's yeah. pretty cool. Are you a flame warrior? <laughs> I don't know. Because of the eternal flames got you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's very cool. What are you, what are you chuckling at? I should have a theme song. Sorry. It's snickering. 
<laughs> like when you walk into a room. Look. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. So, <laughs> just share with the gloss, Andrea. Dream. What happened? I'm sorry, I broke the sex scene. <laughs> <gasps> no, How did you manage I that? Did, I, I need to buy you a pencil. <laughs> so strong. I have so, 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 so many. I have so many pencils. <laughs> I just heard <laughs> the audible snap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disrupting the class. Anyway. <laughs> so good. Is that anything a good dog? Anyway, I'm so good. Uh, I yeah. am at least 21. Okay. Oh, uh, could I be a flame warrior? Seventeen. You have no idea. I've got no idea. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It sounds to me like something was uh, foist upon you that you did not choose, mm -hmm. and oh. fuck that right off, mm. in my opinion. Did you want to be a fire person? I didn't want my fiance mm. to die in my arms. Oh. oh. You oh, didn't choose that life, it chose you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah I just, did. I'm sorry, I just... No, that's correct. I actually, really, have, uh, a no, lot, fix the situation. I actually have a lot of questions, because this might help us out in a mm. sort of timeline uh, situation, because if you ran uh -huh. away from that... I ran away, by the way, how, but I didn't go back. How <laughs> much time would have passed between you getting snatched up and put in a box? Because if you were running away from home, that would be a pretty good sort of time for someone to grab you and put you in a box. Yeah. Light bulb moment. I'm going to call for Buttercup. Mm. And we do all get put in boxes in our life, don't we? This is a it's metaphorical boxes, but this was a, a real a real box. Seventeen. Uh, a few minutes later, Buttercup pops up. I just can't quite get it. Hey, buddy. Right. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I tried to call Buttercup before because you were sad, so I want Buttercup to come and you know try and cheer you up. But hey, buddy, oh. you yeah. answer whenever I calls you, okay? He looks very confused. If you can, if you want. <laughs> no, if I am not around to bring you here, you can come whenever no. Art is like, hey, no, Buttercup. Okay. You see, Buttercup's eyes glow slightly, and he. Flies over to Everard. Oh, oh wait, no, come back. <laughs> Imprinted. He puts his hands oh. on your face and places his big glowing <laughs> yellow eyes right up next to yours. <laughs> Eep. Uh, what? Eep, deep. This is nice. Tip, tip. He then starts purring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have that thing on your face. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> Alright, come back now. Cute. He snuggles into you and then flies back over to Cadence. Oh. Good boy. Yip, yip. Mm, Do you know that was nice. how I got to be in the city? Were you with me when I was put in the box and brought in? What happened to me? You didn't see? How did you find me? Buttercup's eyes start to glow again. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Be back in a sec, guys. As you dive into Buttercup's memories, uh, <laughs> what, you, what you start seeing now. is probably not what you want to know. Oh, no, I want to know, baby. <laughs> you see as Buttercup... Guys? <laughs> you see as Buttercup is by the grave. Oh, no, I don't want to know. It's a different time. It's late in the afternoon, so it must be the day after the actual burial. Mm. You see Buttercup sniffing around the space, realising what has happened and weeping, and then proceeding to follow your scent and track you for a year. And sometimes the scent feels fresh, like you were just there. And Buttercup gets excited, but when he turns the corner, you're not there. And the first time that Buttercup saw you since then was inside the apartment. 
<gasps> he blinks back up at you when you rejoin the others. Oh, I just give him a cuddle. He's got a big smile on his face looking at you. Like, I found you. Yeah, you did, buddy. You did good. Uh, don't know how I got in the box, but I was running for a year. It took him a year to find me. That's mm. some good stamina. And you should feel proud of yourself for that. Yeah. Are you talking Running to me or yeah. my Tiny. Twitter wing? You. Are you yeah, okay? Yeah, literally running for all that time. Yeah. Oh. We don't know. I d- probably not literally running. running for a Can year. you remember? Do you, do you remember anything between when you ran away from home and mm. when you saw Buttercup? One of the memories that Buttercup just showed you triggers something in your mind. You're staying in a dingy apartment. You don't really recognize the location. It's bland. No real indication of which region. But you hear Buttercup. And you bail. Oh, oh, oh. The reason he couldn't find you for a year oh, is because you weren't just running from your home, but you didn't want to face him either. Oh, oh no. Heart. Does he know that? Doesn't seem to. I will not <laughs> tell him. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't remember much. It's like a crappy apartment or two, but nothing about... But you weren't being mind-controlled. You were you. I think so? Mm. The turnaround for this process has got to be less than a year, then. Did... No, never mind. Look, I I don't know if this is really going to give us any answers, but timeline is good Mm. to know. Now, shall we leave yep. the curse house? Yes, I think we should go to the kitchen and get some food to bring to the cookout. I don't mm-hmm. think we should eat anything, anything that we bring yeah, from the house. Food from outside, will be outside, outside this place. Get a hemp pin. Oh, there Stalls and things yeah. outside. Just, and we'll just bring a hemp pin. Get, get some meats on sticks on wheels to go. Get some meats on sticks on wheels to go. I was thinking we prepare a <laughs> uh, well, what's a... Oh, the I think... Th- were you about to Tell say honkling? Honkling, Because yeah. I know a shit ton about that. So yeah, we should we should make some honkling. You, know, you got a honkling? Is that like a tiny yeah. small bird? I feel like it's a <laughs> tiny small bird. Tiny little small bird. Tiny well, little small, small little bird, itty bitty bird. bird. Does it have like a yeah. beak? Oh like yes, do you want to paint the beak? You sure do. You could wear the beak as a hat. You could. You very well could. Or you could put it in the soup. A snap. Right. But the butcher, 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 but butcher. Let's go. Yeah, I can. Or would know. What about the strays? <laughs> oh, hey, excuse me, Reyes. Oh, it's part of the gang. Okay, what about he, Reyes? It's the, un, it's the unmarked seven. Well, I'm going to follow you regardless. So, would you rather see me or not? <clears throat> oh, so. What? Oh, I think I'd rather see you. Uh, wait, oh, you can't! Yeah, you just yeah, flip yeah. so <laughs> fast on this person! Whoever's, who said that, that there was a flip there? You just called them an asshole! Yeah. And they go straight to flirting! Yeah. It's wow. It's... <laughs> <gasps> but, but, but... I get it, Also, yeah, I do get it. Hid... Stalked, stalked us once. We're undercover to stalk us a second time. Sorry, may I just interrupt? I've actually only been stalking you once. I've just not stopped. It's just the one time. Thanks for calling me that So you've been been unsuccessful twice. How about that? (laughs) Instead. Yeah, that's... um... Have you enjoyed my dagger? That's my dagger now. I'd say it. (laughs) Nice. darling. I took it fair and square off the ground. (laughs) Find his keepers. Don't yeah. set that precedent. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Only for this thing is fine to keep your I don't care what you do. You'll probably follow us around. Yeah. Apparently, the Blue Syndicate hired this one to keep us safe. Oh. I don't know where what? that leaves us and our enemies, but we're... 
yeah. We're cogs. We're cogs. So let's just let the let the cogs turn, and you can grease whatever you want. But Reyes is a good, kind boy. Good, good, honest, decent boy. Is good. Reyes your long lost really? boyfriend? No. <laughs> Are you projecting that onto the screen? No. <laughs> no. No. I've met my long lost boyfriend. Oh my god, really? I know, but my sister's got some dirt on him. Cause, cause oh. He, yeah, I know. It's oh. not not in my good books at the moment. Mm. Anyway. Or did he just betray you? <gasps> it could be either. <laughs> Fuck you! Do we not talking? Should we just should we should we head? I just we, we should head. Go. We should absolutely I'm head and we'll head. Go. Or we'll head with our with our With our beautiful boy race. Perfect boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to go. I like in. super yeah. duper yeah. lean down because she's yeah. so short. Yeah. You bounce. I don't I don't get on my tippy toes at all. And just, get some food. I'm on my cheek. <laughs> let's get some hunk. Yeah, it's my favourite song. Ever. Yes. Yeah. All right, sure. That sounds good. Yeah. Are we sneaking back out of the exhibit or just simply walking out? Just walk and walk. No, we should sneak. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should sneak. No, we should actually, sneak. we should sneak. I would like to sneak. Thank you. Obviously. We'll Thank you. Through. Why don't we just walk out the back way? Though, where but we sneakily. In. We're not just walking out. We're going to yeah, look real, and maybe... Stealthy. The next Tip room top. has screaming teacups in it. How sneaky can we be? We're not going to open the fucking windows, are we? We, we already, already did. did! That's on me. That's on me. That's <laughs> well, I'm going to sneak. Me. I'm sneaking out. I was a sneak. <laughs> Natural 20. Woo! Nice. I love that. That was a treat. Yeah, Natural 20. Uh, are we all sneaking? Yeah, let's sneak. Anyone want to sneak needs to run a sneak. be like, secret rendezvous. And try and cast pass without trace. You can definitely try. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nice. Stop. What? Don't be okay. Just I'm too oh, old. Oh, 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 God. 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 Oh, this side of the and you of the table sneak. The three of you just simply walk out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. And what did you roll for your arcana? Fourteen. It as if shadows hug to the five of you and to you unintentionally. You all seem to blend more into your surroundings, almost camouflage. When you look to each other, it's almost as if you can see the walls behind you as well as your image. It's fine. God, I should have did this when I was surveilling you before. Yeah, you should have. You know how. It's nasty. You make your way out into the markets. I will see who sees you. Okay. As you uh, open the back door, or some of you just simply walking out, uh, you emerge back into the underdome. Uh, the small courtyard area full of hustle and bustle. People are trading, people are buying, people are selling. You've got uh, meat, meats on sticks on wheels. Currently having an argument with the shop owner known as Trebuchet. Uh, you also have Benachenko's Creamery on the other side and a small mm. magic store uh, called Haunted and Taunted. Ooh! <laughs> oh my God. Haunted. Um, why is it is the is the coast clear? Seems to be. Why are you? I, so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a perception talking. check, and I'm only talking to the people who are sneaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. If the coast is clear or not, I'm just gonna perceive if the coast is clear. It's a twenty. Sorry, that's a ten. <laughs> I was gonna say a second that twenty. A ten. In a ten. total. Ten in total. Yeah. There are no guards watching you. You guys are being I'm, really weird right now. I'm just too. Yeah, the one gets my screen. <sighs> Yeah, I can do it. Let's get sneaking, everyone. All right. Yeah. Uh, and you, you guys, you guys go to the direction of ice cream. Um, Iggy runs ahead of you, ducks down an alleyway, and then st strides out. And he's a minor <laughs> illusion to a little mustache. On. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Amazing. That's As so you should, right. King. Go off. A lot of people start looking at you weirdly. 
Well, what's the matter? I've never seen an ethan with a mustache. <laughs> Did you just blatantly tell people you're an ethan? What's the matter? I've never ever seen a Leonid with a mustache. <laughs> I'll let you rec- rec- on that. I rec- so you were trying Thank to you say so what your race was yeah, 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 and not yeah, 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 just blatantly yeah, yeah, yeah. telling people that you were yeah. <laughs> yeah. an ethid. Cool. Uh, you hear if you... Uh, roll a perception check for me. 19. Ooh. Oh, you hear a few whispers as people go by being like, I didn't know that Leonids could grow. Huh, oh, my god, what is this? You're being so weird right now. Who are you? <laughs> I'm an alias. <laughs> alias, that's an interesting name. An alias. An alias. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was nice. Go no, on, put it back no, on. No, Go no, on. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> Should we get some food for the cookout? I think you and I are the only ones that care about the fucking food. I, I also yeah, care. I want it. I <coughs> want to get food yes. and away from there. And I was promised ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Go get some ice cream. Let's go to the cream. Yeah. Off your pot. Creamery team. Cream team. <laughs> cream team? I'm not putting my hand on <laughs> Cream team? <laughs> Yeah. Crazy? Should we, no, should we, we, I do, should but we I have go to, to the butcher. Yes. Yeah. Because I would like to. I am I good at cooking? Can I say I'm good at cooking? You don't know. Can I make it canon? You can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> make, <laughs> make a recall <laughs> check. <laughs> what do you think no, you can do? Can I just make it canon that yeah. Ken gets all nat twenties? I, yeah. I do it. I just do it. What's a, tw- a twelve for? But. Roll for chef. <laughs> With your recall, roll a 12. Yes. Cool. You have been provided for. Yeah. Oh, I love your life. Uh, well, no. Not, uh, maybe because I am so try. fancy. I was taught culinary class. See, you were <laughs> taught, <laughs> you were <even> taught <laughs> etiquette, sure. Yeah. Culinary <laughs> class. It's cute. Dad can teach you how to cook. Yeah, yeah cool. I'll right, find a fine. bird. Okay. <laughs> Great, we'll, we'll go to the butcher. We'll go we'll to the butcher. butcher. We'll butcher. Who's yeah. going to the butcher? Me. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Cream okay. team. Yeah, I've learned so. And who's cream going team. with cream team? Cream team. Cream team. Cream yeah, team. Um, Protein and cream team. Yeah. Cream team. Protein. Protein. Yes, but Protein. no. Yes, but no. Okay, perfect. We're gonna start with the meat team. Meat team. Meat team. Team meat. Protein. 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 Uh, you make your way over to the, the meat on sticks on wheels section where uh, they're currently having an argument with Trebuchet. Yes. Right, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, some drama. Uh, uh, could, uh, you know what? Yes. Let's get involved in someone else's drama yeah. that isn't ours. It's nice, isn't it? Just, it's as, a, just as an escape. Maybe yeah. we can, yeah, mellow them down. Maybe yeah. we get some free. Some free yes, let's impose we ourselves solve. on their shit. You're right. Let's do it. <laughs> let's I mean, solve someone else's problems. Yeah. We can't solve our own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just keep pushing that shit down, Huxley. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do that. Let's yeah. do that. You yeah. want to go over there? Okay, not a problem. You Why walk not? over to uh, Meats on Sticks <laughs> on Wheels. Your name's not even Francois, it's Frank. <laughs> Look, I don't know what you mean, okay? You come in here and you say, oh, you are the best meat. I don't think so, okay? This is Trebuchet Town. This is Trebuchet Town, okay? No town is Trebuchet Town, Frank. Uh, we have been voted by all of the people that Trebuchet meats are the favorite projectile meats. Yeah, but have you made it to Nutreva yet? Ah, Nutreva, Sputreva. Wow. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What? Well, hello, friends. Hello. Hello. Would you like hello. Meat on sticks on wheels. You don't you want like the meat on sticks meat on wheels. Second oh. big grade meat. You oh. want a great top of the line. Mm. What? What's the problem? What's the? Uh, what's the? What's the whole, you know, why, why are you fighting? Why, you, why should, not cooperate? There's no need to fight. Yeah, why take some hostility? Yeah. We're, not, we're not fighting. No, no, we're no, not no, 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 We wouldn't, no, we wouldn't fight. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. There's no need, no need to fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. our clearly our Mates on Six on Wheels franchise is better quality. Oh! Than 
than um, eating a rat. But if you want top of the grade, <laughs> oh, oh, if you really want to enjoy flavor, then you will come to. I have a question. Do you, either of you, have honkling? Of course. Of course um, we've got honkling of girls. You both have honkling. Do you have any raw honkling? Raw, raw honkling. What? Yeah, fresh raw honkling. honkling. What? Yeah. You a lab, the, uh, even. Like what? timing and small. Yeah, spawns. yeah, I do. Beaks on, oh. do you? Yeah. yeah, I can sell you raw meat. That's not... He quickly scans like his uh, <laughs> permissions of the the underdome to see whether that's allowed. Yeah, I can sell you a couple of war honklings. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever can give me the best fine. raw honkling, I will declare the best meats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Give you, me the what do you price? say, Frank? I swap. You wish. <laughs> I've got three honklings for you right now. Have not fried them. You can have them. Mm. Well, they don't need uh, more than three. They're very small little birds. There's quite mm. a lot. I am you have to cook out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> four honklings. We have four honklings over here. Yes. Four honklings. We have four honklings over here. Yes. Brand squad is doing a job. Oh, thank you. I, I, you. Are you? I didn't even ask who you were. Who are you? Oh. Uh, I'm Grayson. It's like a little, itty little bird. I, I mean, like, is it okay? Like, like people eat it. It's quite normal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a delicacy. It's not like if we yeah. bring it to a, a cookout. Well, you, yeah, we look, wouldn't. You would want for a cookout, honkling is the best choice. If you're going to like a grade restaurant, uh, then you might want to get something a little bit more fancy. Oh, They're, like prime stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah. what? You really want to impress? Fat? I mean. Honkling is nice. I, I, I'm still like hell-bent on the honkling, so... Well, uh, yeah, we'll definitely have we'll honkling, honkling on the menu. Yeah. What's fancier than honkling? I can give you five honklings. <gasps> five five. honklings? Where are you getting them from? Are they, wow. are they just there? Yeah. Are they just Did back there? Did you hold it out on us initially, or...? <laughs> well, it's good business. It's good business. It's a good business. Oh, it's so nice to see you agreeing. Lovely. Well, it's just... Yeah, we are, why would we not? Oh, yeah. I just, I, never mind. Um, I was loving the energy you had before. Five honklings, you say? That sounds yeah, majorly awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I would say five honklings as well. I'm not, I'm probably not more than that. Oh. It's just a waste of money. It's a bit log- illogical, yeah. We've still got things to sell exactly. for the day. Yeah. Yeah. How, how much are we talking for five honklings? Well, ten. Uh, what's your best prices that yes. you can do? Yes, yes. do with the best deal. Actually. Really? What's your most competitive price? You're really you something to Oaklings though? You don't want to go, you know? <laughs> and anything else? Well, well, we'll take the Hunkings I mean, class. I mean, uh, Frank wants to watch. Sorry, he, he sells things that shoot out of the trebuchets, and uh, he does a really mean uh, Triton Trout souffle. Oh. Souffle! Uh, a souffle that gets quite a projectile there. What is? Like you throw it. So you as in this you don't, sound. You don't throw it? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I do apologize. I am. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am. You're good. Look at you. What makes it so fancy? I don't. So we, we're we better to take a. Well, it's like a once it, um, you know. Lands in your mouth, it just melts. Mm. It just, mm, it just tickles all of the senses. You know, you get that salty, the sweet, mm. you get that, that bitter. You get, mm. You know, I, I feel, I feel we should. I, I like this. I think we'll do it. We'll do a home cling, right? Yeah. But also, I mean, you know, if you're not, if, if you're, you know, wanting to just get some, you know, something that everybody loves. I mean, you know, the meat on six and wheels is really what you want to. Oh, you know, uh, oh it's, it's okay. very, very, very uh, quite tender. And, <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll we'll take it on. We'll do some home cling. We'll do some souffle. And we'll do some meat on six. Make it a buffet. 
I mean, get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Bit of that trout. Yeah, the trout sounds fantastic. We'll do a deal. Yeah. Like a. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I I could do five tetrics. Five tetrics. Great. How much? Yeah, I got three. What about you? What could you do? Let's go have actually. Francois. Souffle. 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 Meets on sticks on wheels. If you put a trebuchet on top of that, you have a mobile solution to spook. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that you could also shoot stuff. Projectile. Oh, yeah. But you could just carry it. Why would you need wheels for it? It makes absolutely no sense. No, it's wheels. Yeah, yeah, and also you're easier. taking away from what the wheels embody, which is a full rounded meal. Mm. Right. <laughs> That's what that is. Okay. What is the trebuchet embodied? So the wheels are out of curiosity. The wheels are symbolic. The trebuchet okay. is like. Have you ever had uh, that 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 burning sense of of anger within you? Every day. To the point of. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling, and when you finally get that that um, that stab in the face, mm. that just mm, cuts your throat. Wow. Oh, it rips down inside you. Yeah, you feel right, your warmth. Right. Uh, mm. That yeah. is what the trebuchet embodies. Right, right. We'll take we'll take the the food. And how about um, what do you have like uh spices? Because I mean, we've got to season it, don't we? I've got spices in my bag. We've got spices. Great. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll just yeah, I'm we'll just, take those. Thank I'll take, you. I'll take the raw honklings. And all the rest of the things. Yes, okay. you know, Here's the money. Here's the money. Just, <laughs> just as a parting, I'm just going to grab Why don't you just put, put the money on, on, the, on the little. Um, I don't want to touch Oh, that little shared platform you have? No, 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 no. On my platform. I don't want to touch it. Great. I'm just going to wash it first because you got to change from. What, and I don't wash my hands? <laughs> Not just your hands. <laughs> no. No. We got somewhere. You were bonding. It was nice. You were friends again. You know, be friends. My friends. You know, what have we learned here today? What have we learned here today? Why did we move to another part of town? Yeah. This is the best place to sit. That is a fantastic idea. Why don't you yeah. move then? Why would I move? This is if you think it's such a fantastic idea, why don't you move? It's a fantastic like idea for from... shitty meat. But oh, like right. maybe just like away from directly next to each other, just yeah. like a meter, like yes. maybe two meters. Yeah. That is exactly my point. It is this the was best. Here first. Right no, here, you ah, are well, not. I definitely here first. Oh yeah, oh. your whole company started. Right. After I think this is a futile mm. effort. Shall, Shall we? we go? Yeah. I think we're done. You know we're that accent here? isn't even real, right? His name's Frank. Is Francois. Perception. Uh, I... <laughs> Does he have a name tag? <laughs> Are they in love? <laughs> I want to do this. Yeah. 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 Five on the accent. No, I, I, that accent sounds real to me. Yeah. It is as real as the beautiful taste of trebuchet meats. He hands over the a bag full of the. D- please don't tell anyone I sold you for meat. Like good luck for the for the
this isn't a butcher shop. We're just selling oh, you a product. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like cost contamination and things like we'll that. Yeah, just, yeah. you know, yeah. we're doing oh, you a favor. Don't you worry. And uh, yeah. your secret is with us. And if anybody comes to you guys and gives you grief, come see me, all right? I'll, I'll get them, all right? And, <laughs> and you can rely on me. Nice. And then <laughs> you can rely on each other because you're friends now. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> he also hands you over uh, three meats on six on wheels, a vegetable, a fish, and a meat. Great. Oh, thank you. Cook out, baby. Let's go cook these raw, let's, I mean, these. Uh, let's, yes. let's, oh, oh, be very good. It's a okay. whole miniature trebuchet. <laughs> oh. The oh. fire's uh, preloaded. There's five miniature souffles that preload into the trebuchet and shoot into your mouth with a trigger. You're. How big are the souffles? Is it wow? Like nice. uh, spoon sized, oh like gosh. nibblies, are they... like projectile nibblies. Right, it's like a catapult. The physics. Do I twist this bit here? <laughs> are you just aiming um, that willy nilly? Are you, are you like? Um, where are you aiming that? I it, feel just, like I need an instruction booklet. You have to load it with a trigger. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just Why would you? This is not a catapult. Don't be stupid. Yeah, it's a, tra- it's a right. trebuchet. My apologies. <laughs> um, you, we'll, we'll leave you to it. We'll go take this. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. That is a work of art, my friend. You gotta respect the salesman. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm confused. It's someone good note. Yes. Alright, good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. Off we go. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was so odd. I... That was the weirdest thing I've experienced, and we've experienced so many weird things. A lot of stuff. That's been the yeah, top ten weirdest occurrences a... in the past few days, yeah. I don't know whether that was sweet or toxic or... Do you think they're in love? I, I 100% think that they're in love. Do you um, think it's a... Uh... Out of game, it's a Harry Met Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've set us up. Like, if we walk in with these honklings, that we're going to be exiled. You know. Put them in. Put them in. In my backpack. All right. Yeah. Stu- just... Stuff it in the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> They're in They're bags. bags. Thank oh, God. look at that! Beaks on. Our beaks on. Mm-hmm. Beaks on. We could do like a crispy beak. Beaks on. Crispy. Yeah. Beaks on. Yeah. Let's make. Let's make that beak. Let's. Let's. Honk the fuck out of that honkling is what I'm gonna say. Let's go find a place to cook this. Let's then, do that. I guess. Let's find a fire. We cut over to the, to the ice cream store. Oh, as you walk into uh, Benachenko's Creamery, what you find within this this very small store, it's built into a little uh, nook, a little hole in the wall, and everything is decorated in bright pinks. There are small little bows and frills on each table with spoons and uh, little pots of what I can only describe as sprinkles, but in weird colours that we don't have in our world. So there's like purple sugar bits and a pot of green sugar bits. I hate this. I want to, uh, okay, the spoons are just out. Mm-hmm. Okay. One for Roscoe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The slide ahead? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, uh, dirty 20. You take a spin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that there were spoons thoughts? just hidden around the set. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Hidden the spoons. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's lovely in here. Just, you know, it's like that. Really fancy. Do you do chittering chinos? <laughs> like a pup, out of game pup, pup, you know? <laughs> uh, no, but I could do a lot with a little bit of the chill cream if you would like some chill cream. I want some chill cream. <laughs> Sounds good. I could us... make a little cup for the chitter wing if you like. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. She goes over, she starts swirling this small whisk. And as she moves it, it crafts a little peak mountain of chilled cream and places it into a small bowl for you for the chilling. Thank you. It is only one tetra. I want one too. Tetril? Tetril? Tetril is the low. Oh, yeah. It's a trap. Tetril. 
I will mm-hmm. have a, a people one. Of course, not a problem. Which flavor would you like? I don't know. What are the flavors? Uh, so today we have three flavors. We have the exotic berry, we have the uh, caramel, and we have the vanilla. Oh. We should get vanilla for Hux. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we're getting the I think the it might protein. be too flavorsome for him. Yeah. <laughs> We have mayonnaise. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, I will get a caramel. All right. Do I like caramel? <laughs> yeah, I'll get caramel, please. She whips up and it's much larger. It looks like your own mountain peak in a bowl and hands you over this caramel chill cream. All right, it's, gentlemen. It's, hey, the lady. it's cold cream. It's not like ice cream, hey? Like, it's not like, is this like a soft serve hoop mountain? <laughs> <laughs> it kind oh, of looks, it, it kind so of looks a little regular. soft serve y. Great. Um, cool. But not like hoop. No, you know what I mean. The squirrel, <laughs> like the emoji. Yeah. It's sure. Like Patrick it looks Stewart. like a squirrel. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like a Hershey's kiss. Oh, yeah, so cute. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, And it's a lilac color. Oh. What animal does it come from? Right, yeah. I'm very stressed out about this. <laughs> you're, I'm not, yeah, you're not in a meditation. I put it on the right? table and I just kind of like pick all like the bows and the frills and stuff off a chair. Okay. Before I sit down. Not a problem. And then yeah. let Butter, Buttercup <laughs> eat his uh, Chitter Wing Chongo. Okay, not a problem. Um, what counting can I out. Get you? Uh, wild berry, please. And I'll, I'll pay for everyone. The exotic berry? Yeah, please. Not a problem. Thanks so much. Uh, she hands you over a green. Oh, lovely. Uh, same cheese. Oh, Twins. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you good? What, what do you want? <laughs> Just have the other one, I guess. Try it around. Uh, vanilla? Is that right? Yes, not a problem. What um, um, animal do these come from? Oh, so know. these are from our, our exotic sheeple. Sheevel. Sheevel. What? Sheevel. <laughs> and a sheevel is a... They produce dark milk. Right. That we whip up into the creams, mm-hmm. and then we serve on these cold rocks here. Yeah. Thought so, just to make sure. <laughs> have you never seen a sheevel before? I sure have. <laughs> I sure have. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Yeah, I've got my own sheevel flock. <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> Hello? Yep. I mean, uh, that's going to be uh, 25. <laughs> that's so crazy, you've never mentioned. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's really impressive because they, they only come in pairs. How did you train the whole flock? Ah, look, that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Secrets, can I let you know? Yeah. Well, if you ever want to do a partnership with Benachenko's Creamery, we're always searching. Oh. Local farmers. Hey, that's home a produce. great <laughs> idea. I, this could be very lucrative for us. If, if, if Dude, this is lit. You should do it. You bust these things out, and I mean, we could. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're being a weirdo. Sorry, I think now, you've got some show me your, cream in my Show me your cream beast. We'll talk about it later. You're <laughs> <laughs> being rude. You'll have to see that one much later You're tonight. being rude. Yeah, Take that back. Thank she you. Hands, uh, she hands oh. over uh, a dark coloured, almost like uh, dark milk chocolate. I'm going to try and do the trick you, you taught me in, in the museum. Does Do I recall any of these flavours? Roll a recall check. Actually, that's a good idea. 18. You do? You know all three? Well, that was weirdly unhelpful. (laughs) (laughs) Right? (laughs) Welcome to our life. Right? It's like, do I know? Oh, I do. Hmm. Hmm. What to do with that info? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I'll get... Yummy? Yeah, it's got a small saltiness to the berry. What's the, um... What's that... What's that, um... God. <laughs> What's that, uh, salt? What's that? Is there salt in it? Oh, 
all the exotic berries they grow on the coastline? On a on a a clothesline? Coast. A coast coastline. Coast line. It's sea spray. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. Which I one? I got the berry. Okay. <laughs> oh, cheers, twins! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just thinking about my actual shipment. Oh, but she's. Would an you asshole. like to get a chill cream? I'll also get a berry. <laughs> Does if he's paying? Twins. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hear it again. Uh, you also notice, as Sienna sits down, that there are small blue flowers growing on Sienna's neck. Pointing is rude. <laughs> you're a me. Wow, you're a genius. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Give so much, don't they? Just, <laughs> just, uh, just, yeah, absolutely contributes the most to a conversation, don't they? Do you know what an eternal flame is? <laughs> Are you lying right now? <laughs> you know, you're not even a very good author, so just jot that down. Oh. <laughs> That's lying. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, well, if she can lie, then so can I. But don't stick to her level. Okay, fine. It was a really good book. I like the decapitation. What? <laughs> what? I feel like we're, we yeah. missed out on a major sort of part of this whole... You know yeah. this one. Book! A book! She's a writer. What do you, what, what genre? Do you remember that package that you delivered to our room? I do. It was a book. <gasps> a lot of sex, <laughs> a lot of murder. But like tasteful. Very. Plus, some that was not. Oh, the murder of the sex. Personally, yeah. the diagrams were very. But like, wow. Cool. Uh, informative or, ooh, yushki. Yes. <laughs> oh. As you are sitting enjoying your chill cream, Reyes, uh, you th- have been pondering how best to help the group mm. organize an arrangement with the Blue Syndicate. And you think that maybe contacting the librarian would be your best bet. It's fine, it's free. No, we had to pay for it. Oh, sorry, I thought out loud. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be, you know, organizing the looks around that we're in a public place meeting um, Ooh, for you later the in the cookout. Meeting. Yeah. And I don't know, I'm just connecting the dots in my head on like who to contact and um, can I borrow your arsenite? Oh, we're we just doing it here. Oh, why do you? Oh, uh, we're pals. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No. I take my sword out <laughs> and I stab it into the ground. Between <laughs> me and. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Stabbing shit now? This yeah. is, we are in a store, in a store. I'll fix it later. If you were going to call him, call the librarian now, we're going to just do it here. Did it ruin the sort of veneer of the floor? Mm-hmm. Well, no, it, it slammed into the stone. There's a crack in the oh. actual flooring. It's standing up. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll pay for that too. Oh, well. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll fix it. Thank you. Yes. It's fine. She flitters off uh, into the back room what? and seems to be panically talking to a very deep-voiced man in the back room. I'm going to listen. Call <laughs> <laughs> a perception check. A deep-voiced man, you say? <laughs> Do you Bless mean you. our enemies? Oh my god. Sixteen. Uh, no, she calls him Benachenko. <gasps> <laughs> I listen to the voice of the man. What does the what does the man sound like? He sounds sexy, <laughs> jolly, jolly. Uh, is it is it like good convo or is it like ah oh, people are trashing the shop convo? Oh, this seems friendly. Seems productive. Talking about the shift and what's coming up next. And... I'll slink back to the table. Yeah, no, no. My Clear. awesome. Oh, oh, you're back. Clear. Oh, okay. Um, 
I'll take the arsenite or put it close. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> Call of the Throne, the librarian guy from. Uh, roll an uh, arcana check for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can know what I'm gonna call the guys. Uh, arcana? Mm-hmm. 14. Really? Jesus. Okay. 10, 9, 9. The Osanite feels very odd in your hand. Uh, sorry for the transgression. But you will watch as the sword starts softly glowing in the floor. Uh, And within your mind, you seek the librarian. After a small amount of time, searching through the hallways and the twists and curves, I like flick the hilt a bit, signal boosting. (laughs) (laughs) The sword brightens slightly. You trundle down a set of stairs and through double doors into the library, as you have come to know it. And a Leonid turns to face you. Yellowish gentleman that you know. Speckles. Speckles? Spectacles? Spectacles. (laughs) Speckles on his... Speckles Speckles. as well as spectacles. He's also speckles. (laughs) (laughs) Um... He turns. Oh! Yep, that's me. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's a good time. Hello. It's a great time. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I am happy to hear that. Um, I need something done. How can I help? Yeah, of course. I need something done within a couple of hours. If you Ooh. Like. Time pressing. Yeah, <laughs> very time pressing. I need, uh, you know, I don't know if I um, told you. Um, but I'm in the river city right now, and there's a cookout happening in the lower city. Oh. I need a meeting there arranged for a few new friends of mine. With whom shall I arrange the meeting? Mm. Probably something else, but between you and me, it's the unlocked six. <gasps> I know. Scandalous. Very fun. <laughs> Very fun. Oh, you want a meeting with him? Mm, yes. And what do I get in return? <sighs> now, this is the terribly sucky part. I told them it was free, so do you have anything um, do you need to get done while I'm here in the River City? Why, yes. Do you tell? There's a certain person I could dispose of. Oh. Could you manage that for me, Ray? Sure, sure. Let's see. On a scale of forgettable to memorable, yes. how loud do you want this to be? I like my work kept quiet. Very well. Forgettable it is. Thank you. Thank you. I will send you the name. Sure. Oh, yes. Oh, can you do something like a one of those, like... Have you read one of those uh, mystery novels, you librarian, where you like have the, the tag thing, like a spy? I'm sure they'll love that. I can certainly do that for you. Yeah. Also, ideas on making this slightly more inconvenient for them. One of them is really obsessed with things being too easy. Ooh. Yes. How about a code? Yeah. Oh, I like what you're thinking. You like codes? Oh, I don't like codes. I'm not that wise. Um, but I'm sure they will. Hmm. I can send someone. The someone. Yeah. But they have to. Hmm. Fly a purple flag from the top of the city. <gasps> Within a couple of hours, you monster. <laughs> By midnight, shall we say? Something poetic. Sure. Reminiscent of the good old days, Reyes. Don't be such a tease. <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> I am. I will explain why. Wish them well. Oh, I will. I cannot wait to meet. I think we've got some good hempkins in our hands. I know. 
Well, I will see you soon, and I will send you the name when I'm ready. Yeah, of course. Much love. Bye. Was Reyes just talking into the Osanite chair, or that was all internal? You know that messaging with an Osanite gem usually is out loud, and that the response is out loud. Uh-huh. And that's not the case? Nope. Hi, <laughs> Chillin, buddy. Did you like that? Did you like that? Really good. so yummy? And that's that. Alright. What? What's what? I've arranged it for you. When? Then. How? I messaged them, weren't you seeing? I did the whole call of the throne thing, you know? But usually you... Fixing glass. Roll an Eight. Nope. Fuck. Um, maybe... Uh, give me something. Are there tables around? Yeah. Can I just drag a table over it? Sure. Oh, thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Yeah, I did it then. Um, the librarian's a secretive person. Maybe in the trailer I can get you guys in. Like, maybe we'll say hello if we're ever in the same place again. Uh, I try to communicate to my friends <laughs> with looks. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a performance check? Sure. To see if I can if I can communicate this to my friends of like that was weird. That's not how this usually works. What are we? Much that you can roll a performance and insight for the two of you. I'm also gonna roll an insight. Go for oh, it. Oh no. <laughs> That's a natural one. Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Reyes just did something weird. Uh, oh, I did? It was loud. <laughs> Reyes just did a call on Reyes. Hello? Just That's did me. a call on an Osmite gem, completely silently. And I thought that was weird. Can you guys do that? Yeah. Wow. Can I try and call an Esca, but not say anything? Like call her mentally? Yeah, with with my Osmite. Roll an Arcana check for me. Seventeen. Seventeen? Yes. Something sparks within your hands as you hold this boss knight gem. And instead of communicating to an Eska, you start hearing Buttercup speaking. <gasps> I love ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You're saying words. Why? You're saying words. No, I'm not. You <laughs> are. You just said that you love ice cream. Isn't that what it's called? It is what it's called. You're a very smart, beautiful, gorgeous little boy. <laughs> but you, you cheap and tweet. You don't say words. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. Hi, I'm I'm Ka- I'm Cadence. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> you're you're speaking common, dude. I, I don't think I know how to speak common. No, but you're doing it. Am I? Am I speaking chitterwing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Iggy, Iggy's just got his fucking hands <laughs> over his. Cannot even get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Do you want another ice cream? Wow. Did you get a brain freeze? Yeah. Can we get another one of these ice cream things? Yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what did Aneska say? <laughs> you hear Iggy speaking in common and you as soon as you start directing yourself to Iggy, you speak common again. Say something. What do you want me to say? Ah, it's not going away. <laughs> well, it's your, it's your like fucking best friend. Why would it go away? Nobody's speaking. Couldn't you understand a couple the whole time? I mean, like I pretended, like I did, but now it's like he's speaking common in my head. 
or something. You would like another ice cream, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did not did not tap into Aneska literally at all. But you, yeah. <laughs> This fellow seems stressed out, so I'll buy the ice cream. I'm scared too. You have a very nice voice. Thank you. Can Everard attempt to talk to Iggy in his mind? Sure. Can I? Can I? Roll an arcana check for me. It's a natural one. Uh, as you <laughs> attempt to communicate, you can almost feel the pathway possible to you, but you know that Skepti is the one that offered it. Uh, Seely comes to you in your mind. I think we should talk. If you have a moment. Uh, yeah. No, it might not be the best time, though. Give me a uh, decade. Uh, sure. Later? Yeah. Um, here. She moves something in your mind, and Iggy is able to be communicated with. It's not bad for a now. Iggy. Look. Anybody can do it. It's got to be powerful enough. I want to do it back. <laughs> Did you say that in your mind? Yeah. It goes back. And then, very quickly, <laughs> Iggy just leans forward and tries to think more. <laughs> Can I do it? It's a, it's a two-way street. He's opened a path for me. He but seems I to be able to communicate with you. But I can't cast this, but I can't do this. It, yeah, for for Tristan knowledge, it's not a spell. Iggy's Iggy's going to it's not a spell. Iggy, Iggy's going to do an Arcana check to see if he can figure out what's happening right now. Okay, because it's He's very like, exciting to him. Fourteen. Uh, Everard's telepathic. He's um, like Edward Cullen. As far as Iggy knows, <laughs> Everard is telepathic. That this is amazing. We can get away with so much crime. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, probably. Yeah, we can do a lot. Uh, hey, there's is. Do you want to steal from this shop? We shouldn't. Let's not. <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry. I'm they just, were really nice. I'm getting so they excited were... about just the idea of being able to uh, commit crimes telepathically, communicating right. with someone else. Right. Like, I can't. Oh, I've had this talking to a fucking stone my whole life. Right. <laughs> You know you're still like gesticulating quite a lot. <laughs> Just dead still. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you? Have you had ice cream before? Brain freeze, right? I telepathically say, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Eggie, Eggie. Hey, shop lady, do you have like a pot that you can fill with water so that I can throw it at my friend? Uh, sorry, no. I'd like to just chop this pathway in the air, like, oi! <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'd okay. like another chitter <laughs> chai. Chitter chai? Chitter chino? Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. How is this happening? I, I don't know. How is this happening? Uh, uh magic? I'm magic? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I got not twenty. <gasps> I don't know what I was rolling. <laughs> magic. Uh, what this is? What know, is happening? You know that your hunter's mark is is somewhat magical. Okay. You don't know where it comes from, but it is in the realm of Arcana. Right. Whatever is happening with Buttercup right now. You cast a spell. Oh, oh, I did ask cast a spell. This is a spell. Is it? Yeah. Cool. I know. That That's... probably means it's going to wear off. Yeah. Oh, then I won't be able to understand you. 
he will always understand. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're right, I do. I love you, buddy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, what... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you have to um, put a flag up on the tallest bit in the city, a purple one, <laughs> for midnight. I know it wouldn't be easy. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're going to go for a break. What a line! <laughs> uh... We will be right back in 10 minutes time. Uh, in the meantime, as a little epilogue, quickly. As we will be saying goodbye to our two guest stars after break. What? Pray tell, or how do they leave this situation? Grace? Um, at the, as we reconvene, or just before seeing the team pro team mm -hmm. um, approach, I go to Iggy. <sighs> All right, it wasn't pretty, well, not for me anyway. Um, for you guys, it is, aside from the whole flag thing, um, so I need to get something done. So um, I think this is where we have to say farewell for now, but I'm going to be keeping in touch because that was so fun and you guys are so friendly Hi. and I've learned a lot. I remember my mother's name and how angry I am at like, her, her dad and that I'm not a good dancer. And that, um... No, you're not. Why is the wrong blubbering? I have the... It's okay. an epilogue woman. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Whatever that is. I, I, give, I give Iggy a hug. Okay. Aww. Oh. Take care of yourself. Okay, take care of hey. yourself. Oh, I have to, because I've got surveillance. Hey, yeah, I keep surveilling. All right. I hope you find out what your actual name is. You'll get there, I hope so. buddy. Thank you. And if you ever need friends, you know, got the rest of the Unmarked Seven. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so good to just uh, meet someone who didn't want to kill us. Wow, mm. that's so unfortunate for all of you now that you've said that out loud. Um, but yeah, yeah probably I'm best if to. you don't travel with us as well, mate. Like, <laughs> yeah, just okay. for your own safety. Keep the same it's okay. If I ever see your sister, as uh, he's like uh, drifting off, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to kill her for you. Well, I'm gonna show I severely injure her so you get the final stab in whenever you do this. <laughs> yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, bye. Do give us one more before you go. What? Well, Reyes, what your? What your oh, it is. Um, Reyes, book boom. Nope. Nope, nope, terrible. <laughs> terrible. I hate it. Um that wasn't that wasn't it either. Bye. Bye. And as he, as he turns around mm -hmm. under his breath he just goes, Oh, Eowyn, what have you gotten <laughs> yourself into? Perfect. Oh, what kind of weird dude. <laughs> Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> weird. Sienna. Well, that made me want to bath. Um, I have no interest in hanging a purple flag, so I'm gonna also go run some errands and um I'll be close, don't worry. So you're just, you just swoop in, fuck with us a bit, and then you're off. Don't worry, darling, I'm fucking with you while I'm not here too. I think these two have a card they'd like to put your name on. <laughs> just before you go. <laughs> What? I huh? wasn't listening. Huh? Fuck what? off! <laughs> Fuck off! Bye! Bye! Keep your knife! He disappeared into the shadows. What the fuck?! <laughs> so creepy! <laughs> and we will see you in 10 minutes' time. Goodbye! Bye! <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't paid back the loan, but if you just extend the payment another week, I'm sure we can figure something out. You don't offer friendship. You don't think to call me DM. You come into my house on the day of my cousin's wedding, and you what? You what, 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 you, you, you ask for an extension on the money? 
I don't need this trash. Take him out. Whoa, wait. I can pay with this. Huh? Not so bad. All right, bozo. You live to see another day. I'll take these here dice and we'll call it square. Hey! You, you, you gonna untie me? Great. Those were custom. Raven's Ridge dice. They might save your ass. That's fine. I've got it. Um, use the bathtub. Did he just? Did he just say bathtub?
this. Is this guy the Gatorator chip? Yes, you know what it is. How in the world? The, the jumping of the little bird is that? Yes. <laughs> And welcome back. Last we left off, the group were exploring the Underdome, trying to solve a battle between the Meats on Sticks on Wheels guy and uh, Juan Squa from Troy Boucher, mm -hmm. whilst the others, the cream team, went to <laughs> Benachenko's creamery and watched as Reyes made an unruly and somewhat suspicious call to someone they called the Librarian. Swiftly after, you all reconvened. Reyes left to do a task to help you out, and Sienna seemingly disappeared into the shadows. Sienna, I'm sorry. <laughs> or was it Saskia? We'll never know. Like, what Saskia. Saskia. What? Saskia. Everard. You get this niggling feeling at the back of your mind. Not necessarily impatience, but waiting. As the rest of you join together, you start making your way towards the cookout with your supplies. Yeah, just, um, it's got, it's got a bow on it. That's very nice. Yeah, it's a fancy little spoon. Did you did you acquire that? Did you? I acquired did you it, acquire it on the slide. <laughs> so proud of you. Well, I <laughs> learned from the best, you know. But um, <laughs> I know you've got enough. But um, it just seemed like is this a thing? Do I give one to you again? You said when you gave me one. Yeah. You said you have this thing you do. Yeah. Has anyone done the thing back? I think I think they've. I think they've tried, but I felt kind of weird about it because usually I take the thing. Well, you'll never uh, take this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sure, I won't. Well, well, good luck. I must take it. Good I said it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fulling growl. Like yeah. You were. <laughs> um, that was it. That was it. That was it. I was oh, scared. I was fine. Were you really scared of yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, cool. The cookout? I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Mm. Let's go. Yeah, the what do we cookout. Think? Mm. You guys aren't, we got, aren't ready for this honkling. We got 10. We got so much food. So much. We met a guy who you would love. His name is Francois. So, like, you know, Quantus. you know, quality. He only likes quality. He's very, um, he just, yeah. Yeah, he's like you. Yeah. He made the souffle. Souffle. <laughs> yeah. Sou souffle. Mm. Souffle. Yeah. Just try it. No, but you. Oh, you need to do the. You gotta. Uh, what, you, yeah, you just. It you takes a couple explain. of tries because you have to line it up right, but you have to use the trebuchet. Catapult. You, um, well, is it a catapult or a trebuchet? What it's, the fuck is a trebuchet? Like, mm, I'm just trying to figure it out still. A Tuesday. I think it's a catapult without wheels. It is, uh, it's like an arm, but like a tree arm that you put um, <laughs> a little souffle in. I'm Welcome. disengaging from this. <sighs> Franz got taught me. Um, so we've got lots of nice goodies to take to the to the cookout. Do you think they'll like us? I think. And I toss the souffle. No, no, we've what? got more important things to talk what? about. What? Okay, you could have said that without throwing the souffle. Our friend, oh my God. Reyes, has made a has made a very suspicious little call. But as all good suspicious little calls go, has connected us with a hookup for possibly getting 
some more answers, meeting with the Blue Syndicate member, mm -hmm. perhaps even traveling somewhere else. We were talking about going to Nauvoo, hey? Okay? Potentially. Uh, the meeting would be here in the River City. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and, and you know, continuing this sort of uh, breadcrumb trail we're picking up on. And all we have to do is hang a purple flag from the tallest tower in the city. That's all. Why? Iggy, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Is everything okay? okay. Oh, you're right. Makes sense. So you this is what? Uh, this is skullduggery. This is this is how it's done. The game. It's a foot. So we like we 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 that hang a purple game. flag from the from the tallest building. What the the, the purple. The purple gang come, do they? Have a little party. Maybe the, the, the purple syndicate. The you, you don't know. Well, is this, is this it just to means? do with your sister with the purple hair? No, and the purple no, and the... no, 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 no. This is, this is, it, these it, are the instructions. No, no, everyone. Are we going to start a gang war? <laughs> no, 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 I'm like, I'm kind of really mad that you threw does, the trophy. Does there. anyone want to? That soup really tasted it's good. Really it's really nice. It did, it really I, did. I, I want to know. More people would be in on this sort of clandestine well yeah but i need to get that i, need, I just need Me to lash too. out at you a bit and for the, how many stairs is the tallest building in i mean i have a grappling hook that's what i was statistically yeah, you you've do. not been very good with that Oh, yeah, two out of two is pretty bad to not oh, do well. Oh, there was well. a second time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was when I got kidnapped and, oh, it did not go as bad. Oh, it sucks to be you. Yeah. Um, anyway, well, this sounds stupid. Okay, well, let's start by um, looking up. See, where's the tallest building? Thank you, Roscoe. Yeah, where, where guys. Do you, where do you suggest we get this purple flag? Well, that's the game. Yeah, we can we're, we're proving ourselves as, yeah. as, as thieves and criminals. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Roscoe. Well, yeah, I'm yes. on your side. Yes. We'll acquire something. What's wrong with you all? Why would I we need to prove ourselves as thieves and criminals? So, so that the... The, the nasty thief and criminal gang that we're, we've been crossed so many times get some respect for us. Hey, how about... For putting a purple flag on a building. These are the instructions. Listen. It's I, a dead drop. You are valid. It's, you are important. And I, I, this is I appreciate patronizing. what you're doing. <laughs> I, I think, how about... We go to the You get this out. you get this look in your eyes <laughs> no, that, like I, you're excited about I, something, but really you're no, excited to get me unexcited no, about something. I oh was this just a prank? To, no. Was no. this just like a one last little like classic Reyes prank? I uh, we are, you I don't know the guy. Barely exactly. This <laughs> is this is a contact. Yes. I yes. can't believe everyone's not excited about this. If you it's believe exciting. that it's important, then I, I'm with you, okay? So let's find a purple piece of fabric. Just doesn't well, because they'll see the flag! I just don't want to invalidate you, so I'm on board. Um, look, oh, look, look, I'm invalidating. Look all of you off. Me and Roscoe are going to climb the tallest fucking we tower. We're going to climb so high. You and me both. Yeah. Our combined height yeah. is and, and, five and tall And we're going to fly a flag, and when, and when a fucking deep throat spy agent comes up and says I, I saw your symbol Th and then we can say yeah we're playing the game yeah, exactly okay, right. it's a bot okay yes. so we no, are, right. so you and Roscoe go to the tower go do that um, and we fuck off we, we <laughs> fuck go, off Anesca I want to go I, so I, 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 I want I want to marinate this fucking thing so bad I don't eat meat it. so go to your and, meat cook listen hey listen party. we'll search for the purple flag thing oh, but hang on right god. I'm on your side oh I'm my just, god I'm just I can, I can create a purple flag out of magic I can just do it I can cook one up why can't you just magic a purple flag on a tall just building without all the mess and fuss because that's a great point, a great point. Yeah. Uh, then I wouldn't be playing the game that's afoot well, well, this playing... is the way to play the game yeah how about we fuck the game because yeah. Iggy, like to be honest, this, the honklings need a couple of hours to marry. They do, yeah. I would really. Uh, this I would... Our story is being woven on the loom of destiny. Listen, I I, I hear you, but we can't it? do it. All okay, it just sits on the ground. <laughs> you know, we we we're trying to, you know, we're trying to find the best of both worlds, really. You know, because we. I like everyone we... else. Want to make this honkling happen? By God, I want this honkling thing to happen they because go. I Thank was you. able to. No, you let me finish first, just for a second. Yeah. But this seems genuinely important for once. I actually think he's got a point. 
I mean, what if this is the thing that can make us finally find out what the fuck is happening, at least for me, because I know shit. I know shit all about myself, except I'm very lonely. You are, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I just want to find out some things. Roscoe. I hold Roscoe's hand. Yeah. Yeah, I want to find stuff out too. You are a compelling public speaker. Don't be patronizing to me. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why do we always add out all the time? We just need to actually, like, we keep going around in circles. Let's, let's be, let's be a team. And then we end up not being a team. And then it's, we're back to like fighting again. And it's just like, it's really confusing. Is this what friends are? Is this how friends work? Maybe family. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, I think we're all on board. <laughs> and some of us may be less than others, but I think we're, we're mostly, we're all on board, all right? So I think we can split up. You guys can go and find the tallest tower, have an adventure. We will go to the cookout, maybe make some more contacts, maybe find a, a, a flag, do some searching, do some investigation, just and then we will come together and be a team. Just as we need to be so, like, at odds all the time, maybe we could just, like, discuss things so we can compromise a bit more instead of just, like, always being, like, 100% one way or the other because then one of us ends up getting really angry and yelling at everyone like I'm doing right now. Yeah. Wasn't that what we're doing now? We're kind of coming to a discussion. Yeah, now we are. But yes, sorry. Eggs, I'm good? sorry. I think it is how a family works. Are we a family? Uh, I don't remember being anything but pissed at that. Oh. Yeah. Just made me really... Um, Afraid of losing you. Yeah, and I'm, I'm scared of losing everyone as well. That's why I want us all to get along. Look, um, we were given until midnight. So, um, fair, fair point. Um, I got a little bit carried away about skullduggery. <laughs> Great word, hey, Did you just make up that word? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. I know words. Look, <laughs> I just say, yeah, we like squabble and argue and shit, but I die for each and every one of you a thousand times. Yeah. 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 That's why you get a spoon. Yeah, I know. And that's why I wear it every goddamn day. Because I love you, dude. I love. I love. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Sorry. How about we go we'll to go the, the cookout, cookout, we say hi twice around the room, marinate the fucking things, then let's go get a piece of purple fabric whilst we're waiting. Best of both worlds. Great. Perfect. Sorry, got a bit carried away. Just, so did I. Just make sure that you put the beak of the hotling in whatever it is you're stewing it in. I promise it's going to be transcendent. <laughs> Sometimes you say something and then someone just says it again and everyone goes, yeah, that's great, that's right. No, fuck. I think it was your tone, huh? Yeah, you I know think what? it was just your tone. Fuck, fucking tr- probably. <laughs> right. I'm See, that tone, way better. Let's get some meat. Let's get some great. meat. Great. Yeah. yeah. I'm really hungry, actually. It's probably let's, 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 go. let's go. Let's go. You're angry. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. You coming? Let's go. Yeah, bro, just, um, I will catch up. <clears throat> In his mind. Just says, um... Right. All three of you, get the fuck out of here right now. Are you openly discussing it in front of your friends, or have you pulled yourself away from them? Just, I mean, still there. Still in front of them? Yeah. Oh. I, I sort of assumed that this is happening while this was happening. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they come forth. Spectral form, unseen to your friends. Scorsha looks intrigued yet pissed. Seely seems sad but earnest, and Skepti still looks rather weak, but she's there. You called. (sighs) 
sorry, that, uh, I just didn't think you would come out if I asked nicely. So I had to try something a bit off the cuff. Maybe next time we'll just try being nice. Nah, no, not good at impressions, first impressions. Um, lasting impressions, continuous impressions. We <laughs> 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 a lot of those things. Um, but I, I didn't think you would want to talk to me if uh, I just ask nicely. I hate to break it to you, but you also gave us permission to leave. So, I mean, personally, I can't speak for them, but uh, I'm happy. Just, just wait one second. Um, you see Celie hold a hand out to Scorsha, like, give him, let him speak. Just hear me out, and if you don't like what you hear, then you keep going as you are, and we move on. We're listening. What do you need? I, um want to apologize. Look, <laughs> this may be really rich, but having lost who you are and trying to find that out is very confusing. And I imagine that losing a friend, having someone know you so well and then lose every bit of that memory can be so much worse. All three of you have known me for so long. And clearly whoever, whatever I was, was a right dick. Sometimes. Not always. I... I know that... I've got a chance... to, to be... something that I couldn't be... before. To, to start with a clean slate, to... really make an impression, to do something... worth it. We can help with that. And that's what I want, because we are all in this together, and clearly it wasn't working. Because you three are all that I've got. I care so deeply about all of you. Just when you were fading, I... I mean, even though I've only known you for a short time, it was like my heart was breaking. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I should be sorry. And I am. For putting you in that situation. And I will be killed ten times over before I let that happen again. I would give everything that I have to keep you safe. Be able to, to help you. Like friends? More than that. You see Celie raise an eyebrow. Like what? A slightly different. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, like when Eggy yelled at us the other day, I was mad at myself because I couldn't do anything. And I took that out on all of them because I know that I'm useless without you guys couldn't stop her twice now. 
You're not useless, that. You have your own things that you can do, you just forgot them. And it hasn't helped that you've gate kept you from some of your talents. Yeah. I'm sorry as well. I our history has not been easy, you and I. When you chose to forego what we had, you turned to alcohol and we were affected by it. And we spent evening after evening also drunk. And it broke me to watch my sisters in that state and to know that it was because I had failed our love story. So I take blame in whatever that was and if you want to know more about it I will tell you but I also like the clean still feet. I personally think some of that should be left behind. That seems to be the case more and more that I remember. It seems to all be quite bad things, except for the dance. Yes. Um, there were good things, too, for many years. Um, he taught you your own magic and you were able to strengthen your bond with us, bring us into a form of reality. And that strengthened whatever we had at the time, until, um, until there was the ability for me to um, hurt someone that you cared about. Not out of spite or anything, just accidentally. And you didn't let me forget it. So. We were no longer allowed physical forms, and we went back to being mere voices in your head. Well, I guess this is as good of an opportunity than ever to say what's in the past can be forgotten. I want us to be more. Follow us. You see his score shot and smack. And what does that look like? Sorry, for the ones that didn't have sex with you. What does <laughs> it look like? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can ghost bus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That means working together. I guess to give you your own sense of freedom. So you're not just locked up there. Are you sure, Everett? Of course. If we're going to do this, and if I am going to help the people I care about, then we all need to do this together. If you're serious, you know what that implies, right? Physical bodies for the three of us? Do you think you'd want that again? Well, I don't know what it was like. Scorcher raises an eyebrow at Seely. <laughs> if you would like that, we can arrange something. Um, make a deal of some kind. Sure. Equals. Sure. We promise to no longer gatekeep. 
your connection to magic. That's not our place. And you will allow us your freedom in return. I think we can accept those terms. Thank you. For all. Of course. I should have done it sooner. Right. There's a lot that we should have done sooner. Um, I'd like to introduce you to everybody. Right now? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. In your hand, not ours. Well, we are hands together. You feel as... Seely becomes solidified, and you all watch as from Seely's hand holding Everard's, this female form stands before you. Uh. Wow, is that your sister? So sexy. <laughs> I know it's not. Um, <gasps> but I mean, if you. There's been a lot of. Um, look, what you were saying was right. We're in this together. And that means communicating a lot more. <laughs> about information, you know, our emotions, mm. things like that. You're all valid. Uh, I just want to say that. Uh, some of you may know that there's been some people in my head, and this is them. These are the sisters. Hello. We deep, Howdy. deeply bow. Hello. I, I wave at um, Skepti. Hi. Hi. Are you feeling better? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Hey, Skepti. Hi. <laughs> I'm Skepti. Um, I'm the nice one. <laughs> Skepti, I want to say thank you for saving my life. Oh, um, sure. And I'm really sorry that it hurt you. That's all right. Um, I just um, I wasn't used to getting other magic thrown at me, but um, she wasn't trying to kill you. What was she trying to do? Um, make friends. In a forceful way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Skepti? She was trying to make friends with a spell with magic. Yeah. Charm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh. She liked you in a good way. I don't know. Okay. Maybe she liked how strong and big you were, oh. and how well you'd be able to handle the rest of us. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, it's um, probably not that because it, you know, her. Uh, it was a charm thing, you know. Yeah. It's probably not that. She's trying to get me on side. Yeah. Mm. Um, Skepti, you uh, are stronger uh, than all of us, so mm -hmm. don't ever forget it. All right. Um. I'm Seely. It's a pleasure. Wonderful to meet you. Very pretty. Thank you. So pretty. So nice to pretty. meet you, Seely. Lovely to meet you. Yes. Thank you for uh, looking after Batch. What? Whom? Batch? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Everard Batch. That's a cool name. Oh. Cool full name. Now who's keeping secrets? Well, that's why I'm saying we're not anymore. That's oh, what I'm oh. To. Um, but also, if we're not keeping secrets, it should be Captain Everard. Oh, right. Well, oh, that's it. Very oh, cool. <laughs> you see Swarsha smirk and raise an eyebrow at you. Oh, Captain. What's up, Scorsha? Hello. Hello. Scorsha. Hi. Ugh. Hello again. Hi. You're giving me great energy. I love your vibe. And I like yours. It's <gasps> mm. the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You were the one that cuddled him the first night, right? Uh, you yeah. Cried? Gosh, it feels like so long ago. Yes, <laughs> that was me. Mm. You're fun. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you are too, by the sounds of it. Oh, I'm the most fun. Oh, I think we're going to be friends. Yeah. Great. Right. Oh, gosh. Um. 
this is what I've been living with in my head. I so for that's a lot. So that's a lot. Um, Three other people. Things. I'm only one um, person, mm. and that's even too much for me to handle. Imagine. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You are a lot. Huh? I'm too much. Anyway, um, you should we go? Um, Whatever you'd like to do. Uh, you watch as they start fading. You can only keep one out at a time. You get to choose. Will you choose? <laughs> which, which, sits, which sister stays for the uh, cookout? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Celia, would you like to accompany me? Of course. Um, I'd love to. Oh, you've kissed so many fucking people in front of Silly. It's so awkward for you. In, um, oh my god. I'm so sorry. This is like a date. In, you, is, this, is this your date? To the public? In... You have a. I mean, should we bring a ghost? Are you a ghost? What's the proper term that you so, want to say? It's a, a, like a real spirit. form. You can spirit. You, you, <laughs> Scorcher walks up to you before she fades and just smacks you across <laughs> the face. Oh! <laughs> oh, not oh, at all. Oh, I like oh. she's real. Oh, I do like her. Yeah. Well, what colour are they? Colors? I'm picturing like <laughs> like shades of grey, like a ghost. Oh no! Um, they are all very, very pale skinned. Cool. Um, each of them have dark brunette hair. Like a Tim Burton ghost? No, they're not ghosts. Okay. <laughs> before, when you had seen them before, if you had seen them, but no, you weren't there. Nah. Um, they were spectral. You could almost see through them. Right now, they are corporeal. They have cool. Um, so cool. very pale skin, rosy cheeks, light green eyes. Great. So um, like imagine a ghost, but hair. alive. Like a person. Oh, God. Ah, phew. You Technically. just gotta say it in words that make sense to you. All right. Yeah. Technically, we aren't alive, per se, but we live on through everything. That's wonderful. I just, do, for the purposes of attracting attention. We are physically. Well, I am. You watch as the two sisters go and Skeppy waves to you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Wow. And lo- I, how, how are you doing? Better. Yay. Actually, before we do get into the company of other people, and if we are putting all of our cards out on the table, I had a very interesting feeling about you. Uh, in what sense? About your magic, where it comes from. Mm. Are you an ethid? Uh, I don't... Cause it if was you're... unconclusive on the medical, but um, I get my... My magic from my god, which from I'm, a god, mm. yeah, that is very to me very interesting because me too. But like, sort of, that call was made ages ago, and so I'm wondering if that's the same for you. How how old do you think you are? Are you as old as the Ethid race? <laughs> These are a lot of questions. <laughs> Um, ethid. how old am I? I have... Sorry, the ethid, ethid d- folk. <laughs> My, uh, the way I understand it, which is not very much at all, is that this god that I supposedly once had been very devoted to, and I suppose I still am because there is that connection there, uh, uh gives me this power, or whatever, and, um, and I go and do tasks for them. Okay. So, is this that? Is this a task? Are we all working for your god? See, I... Mm, for my god, I don't know about that because we're wrapped up with all these tattoos and blue syndicate and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I was given tasks by my god. Do I... Can I remember if my... Memory gets wiped every time I go on a task. Oh, I'll check for me. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 19. Fuck you. you do not. This is not from your god. Yeah, no. Oh. This, this isn't... This ain't their um, MO. Usually I have more of my... Uh, uh, certainties about me, and uh, I know what's going on. This time I do not, which is new. Did, did you know him? 
Or anybody? Before... Before you lost your memories? Yeah. No. For the show. Um, whatever happened to you, you were knocked out. We weren't conscious, or whatever it was. I That's... thought it was a drunken stupor, but now that you are finding out more information, it could be different. Question for the DM. Sure. Um, my sea monster is a god? No. Okay. You don't know, but no. No, no. no not a creature. God. Yeah, not a god. Just, just a creature. Hmm. Um, well, I, I, um, you know that sea monster I was talking about a while ago? What? Did I not mention that? I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't comfortable just yet I'm, telling people I'm, things. I maybe was kidnapped. That's probably what it was. You weren't there. Fill me in. I hang out with a sea monster. You mean the one that fucks? Yeah. So, I can yeah. only assume, but yeah, that one. And, and yeah, and um, also because my brain doesn't work, mm -hmm. um, I get my power from the sea monster. From what you can assume from the walking on water thing, okay. yes, and like I, I repeat that long longevity as well. Potentially, potentially, <laughs> I think that I'm so old because I hang out with the sea monster. And I think the sea monster grants me the ability to live a long time and walk on water. What? You saw, you remember? Yeah, you can walk on I water. I hit the, can walk hit the water real, real hard trying to get that ladle. <laughs> Which sea monster? Which sea monster? Okay. Five. All you know is that you are from the Shattered Isles. Uh, I, I don't know their name, but I, I know that, well, I'm from the Shattered Isles. I, I don't know much else about me. Also, my name is Annie Lore. I'm pretty sure. Oh. So your name ain't Roscoe? Annie Lore? Is, well, Is it Roscoe a... Annie Lore, like, like Thatch over here? It Captain, could be. Captain Thatch yeah. over here. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure, but that's just another name that I have in my head. What do you want us to call you? Roscoe. Roscoe it is. Easy. Roscoe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can do. So, you have thought, thought you had a thought. Sorry, yes. There's four sea monsters that guard the oceans. Four? Yes, in, in representation of the four sea goddesses. Do they look different? Yes. What they does, have different abilities. What does yours look like? White? Blue? Yeah, blue and white. Yeah. Blue and white. Interesting. Is it? Well, yes. Um, just that that particular sea monster from my time um, chose champions. Champions to, to, to like wow. fight? To, um, to honor them. Uh, keep them and praise them. Um, this uh, a gift given to a uh, prestigious member of society. This okay. was long before the, the Shattered Isles. So. Right? How, how long before the Shattered yeah, Isles? Yeah, what, what's your time? <laughs> how, how old, if you don't mind me asking, how, how old are you? I was... Born in the time of the great city of Elzebar. Right up. Before okay. the war Hey, out of curiosity there, Seely. Uh, you know anything about the Crestfellian War? <laughs> <laughs> Not particularly. Cool. Was that before your time? The Crestfellian War? Mm. No, way after. Oh. I roamed around with my soul, and my sister's souls rolled around in... Um, what is known as the Soul Storm in the Traver. The lost, haunting members of the great city of Elsbar when the gods eradicated our city and cursed us to never pass into the realm of the gods, never die, per se. How long have your mate? We've been <clears throat> taking up that. Um, 
15 years. Right. So, ghost powers. Godson. Fire, Fire superhero. Oh, servant of a Leviathan. <laughs> Kick ass ninja lady. Thank you. Most successful criminal in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll get this has come a long a long way from from corpses in a box. Yeah. I can talk to animals also, just want to slide that one so in. So that's what you were freaking me out with. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't you explain that. Freaked me yeah, out. no, I can talk to animals. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. It makes sense. Well, we gotta find some animals for you to talk to. Yeah. Some, Not more. More animals. We did. Uh, the, the whole queens are dead, so... Yes, maybe, yeah, maybe a cream beast. They're it's also, moment of silence. It's a bit warm, and they're in my backpack. Oh, we <laughs> should... We, let, let's, keep, let's continue. On that note, yeah. It's yeah. marinating in its yeah. own heat. Head, head to the cookout. So you make your way to the cookout. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. So, uh, on your journey towards the cookout, you see a, a few busy people making their way there as well, pulling some carts, all sorts of stuff. It's about uh, mid-afternoon at the moment for the cookout, uh, since you attended the exhibit in the morning of this same day that we've been in for a few sessions. <laughs> <laughs> As you get to the festival itself, you see a large banner that says uh, the cookout in big, bold lettering. What color is it? Yeah. The banner? Yeah. Uh, it's in white uh, silks and the, the writing is in blue. No on that a one. lot of the colors from the River City are, are done in that way, whites and blues and silvers, just for how they dye material here in the River City. Also, you see two large paper mache winged crabs uh, on either side of the banner holding it up. Winged? <laughs> yeah, winged crabs. Are they called sure. winged crabs? Yeah. Winged crabs. Yeah. Winged never crabs. Seen a winged crab what before? kind of wings? Like bird or bat or yeah. insect? Membrane. Kind of birdish. Birdish. Feathery? Not feathery. Scaly, scaly wings. These two are made of paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> Don't necessarily. Know. <laughs> <laughs> While we're walking, can Careful. I just be like ten? You don't know. You know. I <laughs> bet the wings are scaly. We will find out. Oh, I hope so. And Aska, do you still have your fancy ball dress? That was purple, right? Yes. She's currently wearing it. Oh. We, we, oh my body! We, we <laughs> you mean that's the same dress that you wore to the dinner? Yeah, the fancy <laughs> dress. It's just very nice. Oh, the ball dress. Yeah, from the first night of Prenos. Yeah, different dress. Oh, do not you have your Prenos body. No, do you have your Prenos dress? Uh, yeah. Got it. Back at that the was inn. Purple, right? At the inn. Did you bring your fancy attire with you we when did, you went no to the caves? No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> when you went down to the mines Not to deal with the mines, you have your mine tuxedo in pretty, your backpack yeah. that you took to the mines to solve the mines. Uh, I have a backpack for a reason. Okay, no problem. I, I wouldn't Do you have the top hat and everything? I probably not. The top okay. Hat. <laughs> oh, I just realized I didn't bring Shorty with me. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Oh, I, know, I, I just thought because your ball gown was purple. Yeah, we I did also purple. cross my mind, but I, I can leave. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Well, I think we can find something. Thing. As you step into the cookout, you see this huge wooden wall filled with arrows and uh, bolts and grappling hooks and uh, fishing lures, giant fishing lures. On one side of the plaza, there's this large stack of iron pots as well. Uh, cutlery, pots and pans, all sort of welded together. You see a long table that runs the length of the plaza that's being acted uh, as a prep station of sorts, where each, as you go down the line, each different type of food is being prepped by some of the chefs who are wearing different colours. You see some of them are wearing red and some of them are wearing more of a dark blue colour. Mm -hmm. But if we mix them together... <laughs> Just any purple, together. any yeah. purple at all. You see fresh kills are being slammed down on one end of the table. <laughs> They're gutted and skinned, butchered, and then are passed up the assembly line. People are given flower crowns as they enter. And you realize very soon after that each flower crown that's put on is very aromatic 
and it sort of disguises the strong scent of charcoal and fire going on in this place. And as you walk through into the pl- uh, plaza itself, you actually see all these fires light up under these giant pots and giant pans. And you see Porter in the corner waving to you with a big smile. Porter in the corner. He is wearing um, this big red hat that kind of sits very strangely on his head, like a mushroom, but fluffy. And he waves to you with a big old smile. You see a few of his kids running around that you can tell are his from the fact that they look identical to him. Is that um, your other dad? That you hear it, it, that's, that's Porter. Porter! Hello. You mind if we join your team? And that's good. Roscoe yes. and I, we're going to... Yes, have... come on, join us. This is my get... family. Uh, he introduces you to some of the children. Uh, there's Syndra. There is uh, Porter Jr. And there's also uh, Michael. <laughs> it's so lovely to meet you. Uh, uh, Hux is going to get down, sort of like eye level and sort of uh, tussle the kids' hair. I got, I, I have meats on sticks that are brought from the Underdome. The One of them is vegetarian, mm-hmm. yeah. Just. You see Syndra, who is about three, <laughs> grasped onto your face and your cheeks and just start oh. pulling them. Ow. Oh no! Hi. Oh, they're gonna have diseases. Hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't touch them. You don't know where that's been. Uh, you're Sandra, are you? Oh, that's got that's a strong grip you got there too. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Don't touch my chitter wing, but you'll be near that. Porter, it's your father is standing that's right. That's a baby. Right next to her. You. Away from the fire, Sandra. He sort of. Pulls her back a little bit from you. Porter, what are you feeding these kids? They're about as strong as you are. That's genetics. <laughs> Can I hold Syndra? Genetics Can I like, go to pick her up? Sure. I just want to hold it. Okay. I just want to have her on my hip. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm an Eska. She just starts smacking your face. Oh. <laughs> I think we're going to be friends. This is nice. All right. You want to touch my... Touch my hand. Oh, she immediately, <laughs> immediately, like, just oh, starts pulling You're right, she is strong. Oh my god. <laughs> you are now her favorite plaything. Oh my god. Um, strong. <laughs> so strong. You see some of the other kids running around. There seems to be a lot of games going on. Um, you see that there's sort of a, a find the fish on the floor game. There's a couple of uh, taste testing, blind taste testing happening in one of the corners as well. Uh, and the whole place seems to be alight with joy and knowing that not but 12 hours ago the lower city was attacked, this area, which is sort of middle ground, this is in between the lower city and the upper city, um, there is almost a mix of lower city citizens and upper class citizens. In like a sweet way, like the upper class citizens have welcomed the, the, the displaced members of the lower city or like a or like a ignorance is bliss way. Let's just not think about what's happening to these poor folk. No, uh, the the ones that seem to be of more wealth seem to be judging different competitions, uh, supporting the local people. This the way. whole thing is in, nice. involved between the two parts of Fantastic. the city, and it seems like everyone is trying to raise up the spirits of yeah. the community to That's sort nice. of forget about the devastation that happened the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few people that still look a bit sullen. Um, you remember the night before of how many people's homes were destroyed and people screaming and being injured. There's a couple of injuries still around the place as well from the people that you see. But other than that, the uh, the cookout is in front of you. You see so many different types of food. There is a sap bar selling all different assortments of saps, kind of like a boost juice. <laughs> Oh my god, sap <laughs> related oh. items. Um, there is a hempkin pie competition from the leftover hempkins <laughs> from Hempkin Day being turned into pies. Uh, and all sorts of other things around the plaza. Uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to take part in the cookout? Yes. We are yes. going to make the I best think, dish. Yeah. We're gonna, if there's a prize, we're going to try to win it. Absolutely. And this is just like, she's so keen for the cookout okay. that she's going to. Do that. Absolutely. Are we like our own team, or are we join those ones? Oh, should we join? How, Paul, how does that work? Can we join your team or something like that? Oh, uh, it's usually based on uh, individual chefs, but I, I can ask the guys if you'd like to join as a team since you're new chefs. 
Oh, yeah, we got yeah. a dish that we wanted to, oh, to yeah. make, so we could put forward our own dish yeah. to be judged and whatnot. Yeah, I don't see why not. I, I have a friend on the council. I can uh, I can ask whether you'd like to be a, your own team. Are you okay, Sunstroke? Yeah. Well, you're, uh, you're... <laughs> the, 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 the taste testing thing, is that like a competition? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the prize? Uh, I'm not sure. It, it might be a couple of Tetra. Uh, it might be... I don't usually do the blind taste testing competitions myself, but there's a lot of things that you could win. Like maybe a nice purple scarf or something. Like a... Uh, I mean, like sure. A purple... Big pair of purple pants. Yeah, <laughs> like a... Like a like a tunic, like a purple tunic. We just love the color purple. Hi. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm competing. I'm a competitor. Yeah, you are. Lovely community. <laughs> All right. Um, well, yeah. Let me go talk talk to my friends and see what I can do for your team. And uh, sign you up to the taste testing That's, I'm situation. just going to watch. Yeah. I, I'm the one with the refined palate. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubts about that, champ. He cuts champ. you on the back. <laughs> champ. Stop. And he, uh, he goes to talk to his friends. Stop. I think it's short for champagne. Can I come with you guys? Because there's just too many children here. This is why I'm making the face. Okay. <laughs> Touch the way. nice man's face, Sindra. Look. Michael, Ooh, come, come say hello to Uncle Inga. I'm going to pick up nice? Michael. Isn't that Inga, say hello to Michael. Oh. Oh, look at, he's such a sweet kid. Hello. Oh, so nice. You're sticky. <laughs> <laughs> You're sticky too. It works. For different reasons. I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you see that Porter, Porter, does, uh, Porter Jr. doesn't seem to want to participate in anything. He sort of tucked in the corner reading a book. Oh, my kind of kid. Good, yeah. good, good child, obedient child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you divide off into your different groups and you go about enjoying the cookout. Put the child down. If you so wish. Would you like to cook or hold the child? Cook the child. Yeah, cook the child. Yeah, can the, yeah, can the child put him in a bowl? Sure. Hold on to my hand. Yeah, that's safe. You're safe. <laughs> you move the three-year-olds behind your shoulders to hold on to your horns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make her do a flip. Make her do a flip. You don't think it's a good idea. Well, not unrestrained. We should put like a seatbelt. Oh, like no. A seat belt dogs on the antlers. Yeah. Just um, to make sure that she yeah. stays in there. Yeah, you're right. Why not? Why not? What, what do you suggest? What do you think? Mm. This is the first time I've... Uh, maybe like a leather strap or two? And just... Oh, you put a belt on this? You're tying a child. Like a little... Like a Can I recall if I like children? children? Go for it. Fifteen? You have been around a lot of kids in your time. Um, you remember back to the echo singing and the dancing. You like kids? Or have done in the past? Oh, come on, they're not that bad. Oh, we should have recalled Walter before I punched a child, but now Jane hates children. Ch- so. Children, children should be supervised, well supervised, in my opinion. But oh, that's absolutely. just my opinion. <laughs> absolutely. Because you never know when someone will snatch them. Except Sindra's just like on my shoulders, holding on, like looming over you now, because she's so tall. I just run around these. Well protected. And this guy. Do you want a trebuchet? You can yeah. have a trebuchet and you can shoot on the top of <gasps> Andre and Nesca's hair. Nice. Uh, roll a perception check for me, Nesca. Uh, <laughs> There's some big funky arrator. <laughs> she was so impressed uh, with how good she is with kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see an arrator. <laughs> hey! Caught it, caught it. <laughs> Three foot four-ish. Oh. Large antlers almost the size of her old frail body. Oh. <gasps> oh. Just, okay. As you watch Marinda move into the festival, wearing a purple cloak. <gasps> Do we, 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 we all see her, right? Once Ineska sees her, um, 
She spots you. Yeah. She winks and she keeps walking towards the uh, Hemkin Pies. And that <laughs> is where we're going to leave Cute tonight's eyes. episode. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Right, in, in a fun situation. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, it's it's fun. Right? This is probably but the nicest. This is, <laughs> this is the only chill. nice. Uh, uh, this what do you the, mean? This is the nice session. Hey, yeah. we yeah. open up to each other and stuff. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. Thank you so much for joining us for tonight's episode. Uh, once again, team, go around and please introduce who you are and where they can find you. Hello, I'm Tate. We're all happy. This at the end of this episode for the first time. Thanks, Tate. Hmm. Um. Uh, pronouns are he, him. You can find me on social media. Tate is alive. Huh. Hey, gang. I'm Nikolai. I'm excited. For pronouns are he, yeah. him. You can find me not on social media. Forget about it. Just see you <laughs> next week. Oh. <laughs> Hi, friendos. My name is Lucas Perez. I use they, them pronouns, and you can find me on Instagram at Lucas Perez. <sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Andrea, I use she, her pronouns, and you can find me on Instagram at Andrea May. and if you want me to take your photo, look up Made For You on Instagram as well, if you're based in Perth. Love ya. How's that spelled? Yeah. M-A-E-D-F-O-R, letter U. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Look it up. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Forgot about you. <laughs> my name's Tristan McInnes. I use he him pronouns. You can find me online on Instagram at Tris Daddy. Mm. <sighs> Hi, I'm Georgia McGibbon. My pronouns are she her. You can find me on the Instagrams at Georgie Alexandra. Mm. <laughs> and I have been AJ Winters. She, her pronouns, the DM for the Chronicles of Valen, and you can find me on Instagram at AJWintersVO. Also, massive shout out to Mama and Papa Winters! <laughs> Absolutely nailing tech today. Now we have a couple of things coming up this week as well, so stay tuned. Tomorrow is going to be our World Building Wednesdays as per usual, and on Friday morning I will be guest starring on Careful Cantrip for another annual Fungin feud. We keep making fun of Dave because he misspelt it last year and we called it Fued for a whole year. Um, <laughs> I still want to call it that, but it's okay. You can find us there. You can also find all of this gang and more exciting things coming up soon on Winter's Tales YouTube. Go subscribe if you haven't. Go watch our stuff. Like it. You can also find us here on Twitch and on social media at Winter's Tales Co. for everything. But for now, we're going to go and have a little private after chat that is available to our patrons. Yes, that is correct. Once we stop streaming, this gang gets into a very interesting, deep conversation about all the developments of their characters, including, but not limited to, their level ups that they've been oh, through. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! So if you want to know more about uh, them leveling up and what level they up. have leveled level up, up, level up, level up, level up with, what their choices they've made for level three, uh, Stick around, go to Patreon, and watch the after chat from tonight's episode. But for now, we're going to say goodbye, and we will see you next Tuesday. Ciao, ciao.